The niggas on my comment like, oh, this nigga trap. Who the fuck is that? This nigga's boring. What the fuck he talking about? He was wrong. But I'm like, yo, y'all can't do that, bro. If y'all go listen, just listen. Mm-hmm. Yes. Same thing with Taco Podcast. I did his shit. Niggas was trying to kill me in the comments. I'm like, yo. Like, y'all know that don't that don't affect me. I was really ready to respond to some of them shit. Like, this nigga. I like I like I like going back and forth. Yeah, Sometimes they got balls <laughs> and they'll DM me and they be like, nah, they'll give me a whole big bomb shit. I'd be like, ooh, this bomb shit. I'd be like, ooh, this bomb shit. I'd be like, ooh, this bomb shit. I'd be like, ooh. Nigga, off. Big long shit is crazy. Pulse. Pulse. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he was handing out, oh, I ain't think he was going to hit me back, big bro. I'm like, oh, you nigga. Know these niggas big bros? Hey, yeah. Come on, bro. You was talking crazy. Yeah. See, but I tell niggas all the time, like, yeah. Yeah. Yo, did you hit the subscribe button? <laughs> Dude, first, 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 did you hit the subscribe button? Did you like did you like the video or dislike? Do whatever the fuck you want to do. And then we can talk. I have niggas tell me, yo, I stop listening to you when you stop having the hoes on the show. I'm just like, Damn, <laughs> niggas coming in for hoes. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Remo, aka Mr. Rich Threads, back to you with another episode of Let's Talk Fashion, powered by the JBT Network. Just a small network of uh, just a conglomerate of shows. We got boxing and blunts in the morning. We got uh, the boxing historian. We got us, the casuals. We got a lot of shit on there. Angry White Men, BVO, the Roz, the shows could go on, but you know, just tap in with us and you know, have some fun, man. But like I said, it's your boy Remo, Mr. Rich Threads. Let's talk fashion, and I got a special guest in the building. This is the inaugural first episode in the new studio, man. What's going on? I'm here with Mark, the Fresh Fiend. I mean, the Fresh Father. I apologize. Formerly Fiend. What's going on? I was not a drug addict. I was just. Old name. Mm-hmm. I used to buy shit early. And when you feel it, like, I just stuck with that. But hold on, hold on. Before we even get into all of that shit, mm-hmm. the evolved father <laughs> figure. Yeah. I mean, and dropped a, a, a whole plethora of weight. I lost some pounds. Shitting on people, telling them to do push ups and stop eating chicken. No, eat chicken. Yeah, yeah. Not fried chicken. Pork. Not fried chicken. Not fried chicken. Fried chicken is the detriment of the devil. black people. The Asian chicken. people tried to tell us. <laughs> An undercover brother years ago. We laughed, we laughed at it. He was dead serious. And Popeyes, that KFC, all that shit. Mm-hmm. Shit, we just Uber eating. Delete that app off your phone. That is the- you know it Introducing the Nappy Meal from GFC. Yeah. This chicken is the bomb. At the Generals, we do chicken right on. If you look at that. The general's lost his damn mind. Making a fool out of himself over this crap. General's fried chicken. It's butt kicking. Hey, hey. Yeah. What? It's catchy. Reminds me of the Fresh Prince. I like him. He raps happy. With the shake. My yes. boy came into the studio with the shake. Uh, yeah. See, fruits every day. Look at that. See all that spinach residue? Yeah. That's good green vegetables. Sound like Bathroom Express to me. No, not, not no more. <laughs> when you first do it, when you first make the change, yeah, 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 there will be some changes. Some, your adjust- body some adjustments. Used, your body not used to fresh things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh things have to go. Right. Out of it. Yeah, yeah. Out of it. yeah. But uh, before we even get into any of the topics, the journey. Yeah, man. Um, which one? All of it? The the whole? I give you a quick. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Sneaker thing. Sneaker. She started twenty. No, no. We did all that before. I'm talking about oh, the, new, yeah. the new journey. Oh, the new journey. Okay, yeah, so, so I had my daughter, 2023. Mm-hmm. And she's going on, going on two. Yeah. So I my daughter February 2023, and then um I left my job in January of this year. Yeah. But before I left, October last year, my old person, the old owner I used to work with, he did this like fruit fast thing. He was doing just eating fruit, yeah. all only. And I was just like, man, that's, that sounds crazy. Like, you don't eat fruit. So then he started coming in, 
and I seen the change in him, like his skin change, his mm-hmm. hands was peeling, like all his old skin was coming off. I'm like, all of that from fruit. I'm like, bro, every all the toxins is out of my body. Mm-hmm. I don't drink no more. I don't eat this no more. I don't Damn. eat that no more. So you saying I should have my cup? No, you do your thing. That was him. I don't yeah. drink anyway. I know it was much of a drink. Every time I tried, it was not. Yeah, yeah, it was ain't worth it. Yeah, you a smoker? Yeah, and that came late too. But the health thing, like, mm. I used to eat McDonald's every day. Yeah, like I had the app. You know what kind of fat fuck you got to be to have the app for the McDonald's coupon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. twenty yeah. piece for four dollars. Like yo, like I was really doing that. Ice coffees every day. Mm. Bad. Yeah. It was on high blood pressure medicine. It was over 230. It was like 247 at my peak. Mm-hmm. 247. And the doctor was like, yo, you like this close to diet, pre-diabetic. Jeez. Like your sugar is crazy. And yeah. that was because the coffee mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. So I cold turkey. When I see my, my old boss coming in like that, I'm like, yo, I'm going to do what you're doing. They all laughed. Fuck out of here. You McDonald's every day. You come in here with iced coffee every day. That's what they used to. They see me like that for years. And I just stopped. Started coming in with this cup. Yeah, yeah. Niggas laughed at it. Oh, he got a smoothie. Nigga did it for one week. Think he did something. Yeah, yeah. That one week turned to a month. That month turned to two months. Then they see me. My body start changing. Yeah, my yeah. face lost weight. Now I can't fit a 36. I'm a 34. Now I'm really like close to a 32 now. Mm-hmm. But I started getting up in the mornings, working out. Yeah, like, yeah. My daughter get up six. Let me get up at five. Do some quick shit before she get up. And I'm with her for the day. And then that shit just stuck. It just became a habit every day. I, if I felt the way, if I didn't do it, and mm-hmm. I was just doing push-ups and dips and stretches on the couch in the crib. Mm-hmm. But if I didn't do that yeah. every day, like five day. days a week, I felt the way. Like damn, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. What does it do for the confidence now? I see posting the pictures, my man, shirtless. Yeah, that. The funny shit. I don't know when. Maybe June. Might have been June. My mom came up here for the weekend. Yeah. And she wanted to go get cuts and slices and shit. And I was like, oh, I was supposed to be hot today. It's like it's one of the first hot things that you summer. I'm gonna cut the sleeves off this shirt. And my girl was like, Your arms look nice. And that's the first time I ever noticed my arms yeah. looked the way. Okay. Because I was at the crib. Marcus has my brother has some little thirty. So I go in there, I just do my thing with it while I'm in the crib doing shoes. Yeah. And that shit just started to stick. And then when I seen the thing, I'm like, oh that shit, all right. All right, cool. It's the definition. We went to Orlando in July for the kids. We took them to Disney. Mm-hmm. We had a gym at the little place. So I don't like gyms. Yeah. Never been a gym nigga. I'm like, right, it's the hotel resort gym. Can't be overcrowded like a regular gym. So I would just go in there, get on the treadmill, do some walk, run, and lift a little weight. Like, I like this shit. Mm-hmm. And that shit stuck. As soon as we came back to New York, I got a fucking gym membership. Started going five days, four days now, but it used to be five days consistent. Yeah, like yeah, to yeah. the point the gym niggas know me they, they know I got friends in there I got gym friends yeah it's, little, <laughs> it's a dude I call Terminator this little Ecuadorian cat yeah, yeah, yeah. like a Navy SEAL and then come with his tight shirt and he just do his mechanical dips he do his push ups and he leave but every night he's in there with me mm-hmm. and I see him and then when I see him I'm like yeah I'm gonna work hard cause he here I can't do no bullshit in front of him he too, he too tight I ain't awesome. gonna lie you, you, you re-motivated me cause yeah. you too when I Cause this I was nigga at like, like way first. Yeah, I was at like two sixty five. And I bought your bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought yeah, a yeah. bike off me. I'm like, yo, I need a bike, bro. I'm gonna start riding my. This is like pandemic times. Yeah, we was both big. Yeah, Everybody yeah. big in the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yo, I got a bike. I'm gonna get a new bike. Like, you know, I start riding bikes. So I was trying back then, yeah. but I didn't know how. I'm like, how do you really work out and lose weight? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get a bike. Maybe if I ride the bike, and I was doing it. Yeah, I was riding. I broke the bike. It's a, diet. it's a diet aspect of it, though. That's the key. Yeah, and I didn't diet. realize that till now yeah, when yeah. I started dieting. That's little, what it a little was. little bit of activity. Bro, for me, it was all diet. Because my diet was, I was waking up throwing up because of acid reflux. Oh, snoring shit. crazy. Snoring. The snoring. My girl was like, how we have a newborn baby and you snore like this? Yeah. No, you know. When you, when, you, <laughs> when you can't wake up because you just. Bro, yeah. I, I couldn't even sleep on my back. Physically. I would, yeah. I would choke. I would wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop up because I have too much weight on my chest. I had to sleep on my back. I used to sweat in my sleep. I used to sweat sitting still sometimes. It's too, the room a little too humid. That ain't like, sweat, but that ain't swaggy though, bro. Bro, and that's, but now. It feels crazy. Yeah, but now, like, like, like when, when you lose weight, because I, cause I, you know, I mean, I started the journey. I, I'm not at my completion, mm. but it's like when clothes start fitting you a certain way. Yeah. And like, 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 you get that aspect of it. And you know, like, 
sometimes when it comes like people the gym is like a drug or yeah. working out is like a drug when you start seeing a little bit of definition a little bit of changing about you want more you want more so i'm not mad at it I'm you look you good want. thank you sir. you look you good i ain't good. mad i ain't mad this we almost we almost 40 i'm 40, 40 next year okay yeah next year i turn 42 so we look good for our age and we got kids we gotta hit we gotta be here for the kids man. i heard a story it's a dude i don't know him personally yeah i know a lot of i've seen a lot of people posting him i don't know his name i heard he passed playing uh the video game with his son he had a heart attack Playing 2K. And he was 42. Yeah. yeah, I heard about that recently. Yeah, yeah, Fat yeah. Man Scoop was 53. He died on stage. Yeah. yeah. And this is all physical things that, that yeah. you know, you just got to be in shape. And I know people, like, don't want to hear it. But I, I post it, and I post it in a joking way. Mm -hmm. And people take offense to it. But it's like, that's why I do it. Because if it makes you upset, you never forget that shit. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. things that piss me off, I never forget it. Yeah, yeah. So if I could piss you off to the point where, damn, he's right, but I don't like how you said it, you gonna remember that's gonna trigger something in you where you gonna do a little something. Step it up. I've had niggas DM me like, yo, I made this because he was talking shit yesterday. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. showing me smoothies. I'm like, okay, keep it going. Yeah, people might take it away, but like, literally, like, it's for the better. It's, I'm not, it's all motivation. Yeah, purpose. I could have been yeah. telling you some grimy, dirty shit. I'm telling you, yo, you can unpick your back. <laughs> nah, I don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that. You until, want your back to be big. Until girl? the doctor tell until the doctor got yeah. you on seven medications like me. I was on seven pills a day. That's crazy. At 35. Yeah, that's wild. That's that's not a niggas do take them pills and go eat Chick Fil A because the pills make you feel like right, I'm good. Playing with their health though, man. Yeah, yeah, with their health. Get off that. Your dick don't work the same when you <laughs> yeah, that yeah, medicine. Yeah. When you get in shape though, nigga, <laughs> oh, what? My girl could be mad at me right now. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, but D'Angelo will get <laughs> mad at me now. But if, if I if we get a moment, yeah. you ain't gonna be mad. Okay. Okay. You're gonna be like, yo, go to the gym. Go every day. I don't give a fuck. Did you go today? Here's your back. She gonna she gonna make you go. <laughs> your drive, your energy, you're just the shit you can do. Yeah, you bro. Breathe, right? breathe different. What? Bro, I used to lay on my back and have to make tell her like, yo, get up. I can't breathe because I'm too big, too much weight. Yo, key to that, y'all. I'm big your back, man. Yo, let's, oh, yo. let's take a quick break, man. We gonna get to some topics. We we'll right back. It's time for another raffle brought to you by the JBT. Our first item is a new 10th generation iPad with a liquid retina display which shows off beautiful color and has plenty of power for all your handheld computing needs. Great for work, play, or just movies on the go. How much is it to enter, you ask? Just $10. Or you can catch the deal with three entries for just 25 bucks. It's easy to enter. Just cash app your entries to dollar sign JBT Network One. That's dollar sign JBT Network One. Our second item is a set of Kanichi Bear Bluetooth noise canceling headphones. Great for gaming, movies, or travel. As the second prize in this great raffle, our third item is a Ninja brand air fryer. Great for all your air frying needs. Cooking healthy with the JBT. So send your entries via Cash App to JBT Network One. That's JBT Network One. $10 each or three for 25. Put raffle on the comment line and you are entered. Welcome back, man. Listen, I already told y'all, I cannot help y'all for not putting in $10 in the raffle for one attempt and three attempts for $25 for an iPad 10th generation joint. You get a goddamn Kenichi Bear headphones, noise cancellation, and you get the opportunity for an air fryer. We just were talking about eating healthy. Air fryer is going to get you there. No grease, no grime. You get the little cooking tray joints where you don't, it don't get dirty, a little hot water. You need any of those chances to get you for twenty five dollars. That's a block special, man. But like I said, that's on y'all, man. JBT Network once and that bread, and good luck. So, Mark, let's get right into these topics, man. Mm -hmm. Being that we stationed in New York City, yes, and we just wrapped up Fashion Week, where. I would say it's not the same, but 
is Fashion Week as influential as it once was during its heyday, let's say maybe 10 to like 18-ish-esque? I would say this for most for the majority let's say like 80 percent of the world isn't into fashion mm-hmm. so it's always to me been an underground thing in a way like it's kind of like if you know you know because if you don't go to soho often you don't know why these kids dress the way they dress you don't know what they're wearing or the, who their inspirations are because you're not in that world it looks weird to most people and then you got the people that are into style yeah and it's like they like certain things for certain things They'll take a certain bag that some people might be like, whoa, why are you cooking that bag? But to them, this is an everyday piece. Yeah. I'm going to wear this bag forever. Mm-hmm. Some people wear it in seasons. Yeah. That's the more so fashion people. Where it's like, oh, that's season 24. That's old. Yeah. They don't want nothing old. They want everything that's unreleased. That's the people that's in fashion fashion. That's the 5%. So that's if like that. If, I, if, I, if that. Yeah. So you got like trust fund babies. They come up in fashion because their parents is into that. So they're around designers, they're around brands, they get to events, they go to meet people, their friends is into the shit. And then you got us, yeah. who we want to be a part of that top 5%, but how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the things that we like don't look like that. So there's like, oh, we really kept out of it in a way because we see that shit and we're like, what the hell is that? I want to wear that big ass coat. Like you go to the runway show and like, who's wearing this? See, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing because I think our influence is so strong on the street with on the street with, like just black people, black culture in general. Mm-hmm. We can take items or what we call in our fashion pieces mm-hmm. and make it and cultivate a lane for us. But the way it's designed, the way it's presented on stage, yeah, we're not wearing that shit. No, and we're not wearing it that way. Yeah, that, at all. You know, because you know you see like a lot of the things Balenciaga makes mm-hmm. is for urban. But we don't wear it the way they would want the us to wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whereas you're supposed to do Balenciaga all the way. No. We'll do the hoodie yeah. and we'll put it with something else. That's not how they would do it. When yeah. you go to Balenciaga shows, the look is the boots, with the pants, with the hoodie, with the glasses, with the hat, with the bag. All of it in one. Same thing with Prada. Gucci well, like, well, all right. well, as a designer, right? Mm-hmm. As a designer, I would say if it's your show, you it would have to look like that. Right. I just think the old the, the outlandish pieces that's placed together is the issue. Yeah. Because it's like you can wear all you can wear all certain designer, mm-hmm. but I just think it's just that they search for a wow effect mm-hmm. while on runway. Yeah. Because like you don't have to do all monogram. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's kinda like the, the issue. They stick into the, the old ways of things where it's like you should have a lookbook. And it should be presented in this way. Yeah. So if I should want to see your lookbook for fall winter, when you go to the runway, it should mirror your book. So people are putting the mannequins on the stages so you can see the Louis Vuitton jacket, the Louis Vuitton pants, the thing. But when people go shop, they don't buy it that way. Yeah. I'm not buying a coat with the bag, with the boots. I'm going to give one of these things and I'm going to put it with something that's none of these things. Yeah. I'll wear an LV jacket with some Levi's. Yeah. And I'm not wearing the jeans. I'm wearing the jacket because you. But you, you're wearing a certain o- o- offset brand just for a different right. feel, different just the look. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like if I wanted to wear black pants, I'm not going to get black pants with a huge logo because yeah. I'm not wearing this brand. Well, I'm not blind. Black pants. I'm not blind. Balenciaga pants with Levi's. <laughs> right. That's it. Yeah. That's all they do is take Levi's. Uh, Chrome Hearts is charging you thirty five hundred dollars for Levi's. Yeah. Now yeah. was doing the same. It's just a great denim brand that's a low cost that people can use as a template for their ideas. Denim tears did the same thing, but that's on street level. Yeah, yeah. Higher level, there's none of that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They're not touching Levi's. Yeah. Pharrell's not making Levi's. If you want the Pharrell jeans with the pearls, you're gonna have to spend that money. Think that guapo. Yeah, that, that ain't that is crafted. Those pants is like handmade in there. Let me ask you a question now. How do you feel about the influence of hip hop artists? Being on a runway now, because I think it's straight nasty to see. Depends on the artist. Like, like, like to see a Jim Jones on the runway, a Dave East on the runway. But what brand was that? That's the other thing, too. Like, uh, which one was Kid Super? Kid Super was That's one. That's not a lit brand. I seen uh, uh, any uh, what's his name? Chopper, N-E-L Chopper. was uh, with Off White wearing something bogus. See, now with Virgil, that makes sense because he's hip hop. Yes, but he's not here anymore. 
that's, when he was, yes, his his, his show was yeah. hip hop. He, he had, had like, Pusha T. Yeah, yeah. You know I, I agree, but I just don't think that the the current hip hop lens what? to really fashionable. Too, that's not even. I don't want to do that. I don't, no, wanna, go ahead, go I don't ahead. want to say that it's like low level because it's it's not. Yeah, it's, it, this is somebody's creation and creativity, so I don't want to do that. But it is not the same scale as a fashion house. Okay, so so say for instance, I give you a, a bigger brand, Kith. Okay, they had uh, Ghostface and yeah. and, and uh, Raekwon and but Kith emulates Supreme. Yes, but they I know take they hip hop artists and he try to push a certain. Agenda, with yes. The rapper. That's what Supreme did with Tyler just now with the Tyler but it, the shirt. But it didn't look good, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it, I mean, it didn't look good. Kiff did the thing with Dipset and Garden with the Knicks. It didn't look good. It didn't work because yeah. it wasn't for us. No, because the niggas is not really fashionable. They're not. But yeah. it wasn't for the for the fashionable. It was for the ghetto. That was for the hood niggas. For the hood that like the loud the New York jersey. Knicks jackets that wear Tim yeah. still. I don't wear Tim. I mean, neither. Just so it's not for us. No, listen, <laughs> it's crazy that we're from New York and everybody's like, I, New York. I haven't worn Tim's or Uptown since. Yes. I, I, hate, I, I would go on the record. I hate yeah. Air Force One. Yeah, I too. dislike them. I've never been. I haven't had Air Force One since 11th grade. This I think is a I, fact. I think I haven't worn them since maybe 05, 06. 11th grade is 02 for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's was the peak of Air Forces. 02 was. Every throwback had a matching Air Force. Mm-hmm. I was off that shit. I was like, no. Give me the Jordans that match it or I, yeah. I would just won't wear it. I just won't have the jersey. Mm-hmm. I wasn't doing the lazy, just get the all whites and go with everything. That's lazy, corny, cheap nonsense that people been getting off yeah, for the so last get five years. Get your shit on. Get, get that your they shit. have an outfit, they have nothing to go with, and they yeah. just get white forces. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's not a fit, bro. It's quick fit. You didn't do anything. No, 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 no. You nah. didn't do anything. Like, why? Air Forces used to be for a white tee and shorts, and that was the fit. That was a run outside, but then, but it got real niggerish because niggas was like, "Y'all wear them one time, and I gonna get a new pair." And that was that was for them uppity niggas. That was fly. Dame Dash started that. That was a rich nigga thing. Wear them once, throw them away. I don't wear nothing. I don't wear my t-shirt twice. Yeah. That was some usher. My usher said he never wore the same drawers twice on his MTV cribs. <laughs> yeah, it's my underwear. I don't wear. Them. They going away. They gonna burn them. Like, why? You just wear your drawers once. Yeah, I'm rich. You got buy drawers. Yo, every I got some good comfortable ones. I really like. Yeah, them Calvin's. Yeah. Yeah. I rotate drawers for four years, bro. Bro, when I when Until I they get a hole. You remember? When, remember when? when like, listen, y'all. The niggas we used to wear like the boxes. It was nasty. Boxes, then, boxes. Yeah. When you figured out your yo, like yo, I fit right in these joints. Had to get boxer briefs. My yeah, ex put me on to that years yeah. back. Yeah, I was like 22. He's like, why are you still wearing them jail drawers in jail? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the jail shit. That's the shit that you in jail. You can't have the tight shit in jail because no, they jail. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. want nothing tight. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> like, get the really sexy. I'm like, sex? I ain't no sexy drawer. Nah. And then I got them. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, I ain't going to lie, bro. Jeans go right over these yeah, shit. Yeah, like, more. Yeah. Yeah. And the sweat was in the sink and then yeah. the dry fit yeah. material. Yo, yeah. listen, man, y'all. I get the Nike boxes. Oh, well, those fire too. Yeah, those fire too. I'm fake athletic, so I'm trying to get the Nike drawers. <laughs> Dry fit, y'all. yeah. Dry fit. It wicks the water, <laughs> and I'm in the gym. I don't feel no moisture. Crazy, but yo, the current state of, of fashion. What direction you think is headed right now? Like, it's well, everybody has their own opinion. My opinion: this is the resurgence of baggy. Yeah, yeah, it's there. And things always go full circle. I'm not mad at the the new baggy because the first baggy. We didn't really have no, no like. <laughs> we just wanted our shit big, pulls. Like we didn't care if Good it pulls. fit right. Pulls. We didn't care if the belt bunched up in the top. We just like yo, they're forty. Yeah. I'm a, I'm sixteen. I don't wear forty. Niggas but wearing like thirty two, thirties wearing forties. Yeah, by thirty four. Right, long the bigger, longer the jeans. They they drag on the floor. We fire. fold them up, tie them into the shoe. Yeah, and we was bugging. Yeah, like yeah, even yeah. the warm up jackets was big. The, the warm up sweats was too big. He was dragging white Maverick Dallas Bro, point. I'm like I'm like five ten, five <laughs> eleven. Why am I wearing a, a, a pro cut? Yeah, fifty six, fifty four. It was bad. The joint is somewhere down here. See, we what? fucked up with the shirts. We went big with the shirts and yeah. the pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, now, yeah. they gonna do the big pants, but the shirt gonna be cropped. Yeah, I'm not doing have, no yeah, big yeah, tee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I when I was bigger, yeah, I would do the big tee with the skinny jeans. 
kind of gave the little, oh, your legs are small, your upper body a little big, but you got a big shirt. Yeah. Got it. And I got that all for a minute. They was like, all right. And you ain't then, that big. Right, right. And then you get home and you take that shirt off and you're like, yeah, you ain't have a beat under that? That's just stomach. Like, <laughs> Yo, like, like, yeah, I was butt ass under this tee because I'm hot, I'm big. Yeah, I can't yeah, wear no yeah. beater. That shit gonna be quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Yo, you know what's but, crazy though? Like, I like the way fashion is because you have many different options, right? Mm-hmm. So before I jump in my closet now, and I might see a, a close fitted pair of jeans. I'm like, oh, this is nasty. Like, yeah. I can't do it no more. I wore some skinnies last week. Yeah. And it was different. Yeah. I didn't feel the same. Did it feel cool? Nah. Like, and that was one of my favorite jeans for like at least 10 years. It was some wax denim. Oh, I, you so Bro. That's the same as I went in my closet. So I just, and I can't. I wore them to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was morning time, so it was like nobody outside. I came home from work. Yeah. And see the young niggas? It's just like, yeah, I fucked up today. Yeah. Let me these, give you, these can't work right let me, now. Let me give you one, right? So, I was going somewhere. I forgot. It depends on your shoe silhouette. Yeah, that's as well, right? So I had a, I think, what I wore them shits with? I think some bricks or some shit like that. So so I threw them on, they got a little zip on the ankle. I'm thinking, like, but they, they wax in them. I'm thinking, all right, wax in them is safe. Yeah. Bro, I get downtown or some shit like that. I'm looking for something. I forgot what I'm looking for. One of the kids go, oh, niggas got out here with calf for show. And I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you got, yeah. And it wasn't even that tight, but the fact that it was just, it them. wasn't, yeah, it, like, like, like niggas was not on it no more. They can't so. be fitted at all. Not yeah. even fitted. Not, yeah. even, not even straight leg. They have to be a little baggy. Yeah. Like, the, I went to Zara Friday. Yeah. I made a post about this other day, and I said that, yo, the tight shit is over. I was telling niggas two years ago about Amiri's, and niggas was telling me, you're bugging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yo, it's off in Amiri's. Like, once you see little Uzi and rappers start dissing it, yeah. I was like, bro, they rappers dissing Amiri, bro. Drake said he never wore Miri in his life. Not that he's a fashion nigga. Oh, right. but to that, no extent. But for Drake yeah, to yeah. not even wear it and mention some shit, it's like, yeah. why are you saying that? Because it's ass. Little Baby said he stopped wearing it. Yeah, he yeah. was the Miri mannequin. King. King. Him and Dirk yeah. had every pair. I never wore them shits. Never. I never. Once I seen the price, I was like, this is stupid. Yeah. This is because they had like a little leather knee, and I was just like, no. Bro, I had made jeans like that yeah. a year before me and we got hot. Yeah. I went to the beauty supply, bought a black bandana, cut my jeans, put sold it in there. My man was like, oh, them shits is hard. Yeah. A month later, he's like, yo, you see that Mary's? I'm like, what the fuck is that? You can't wear them jeans no more, bro. Yeah. Between those. See, all right. Shit changed for me personally when. Uh, the young kids started wearing their tags on their jeans. Oh, the purple denim and purple and, and um, subies. Subies, yeah. I was just like, they still have the tag on. But I, I, I guess it was like a flex for them. That was how you're supposed to wear it, though. My son told me that. I don't give a fuck. Because I came up, as much as niggas was sagging pants, my mom's and I wasn't having it. You know? So I can't follow every trend in the way it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm at the point where, like, I'm older. My sneakers got cushion in it. Yeah. So my my, my, my silhouette of my shoe is a little bigger. I'm okay with room and my pants. L- listen, when you got kids, you gotta be you gotta have motion and, and movement in your pants. Yeah, you gotta be. So I don't mind it right now. And I go to my mom's crib sometimes and I can go grab some old shit. And it work. And it fit. I might have to maybe take in a, a little something here and there mm-hmm. so it get that, you know, that silhouette, but I like comfort. I went to Zara Friday because mm-hmm. you know you gotta look at the streets and see if they've adapted to what's really going on. Yeah. Now the baggy shit been around from two summers ago. Yeah, facts. And I used to be in the Lower East Side every day. The little Spanish young kids were coming with these big ass jeans and black cat fours. And I was like, why are they all dressed the same? They do. Yeah. Black cat four, little a regular hoodie, little book bag hoodie, small, but the jeans big. I'm like, they back into that Jinko shit. Yeah. But the kid, the younger kid, teenage, they wear their shit too big. That's they the older kids wear the jeans that's made big, but they fit. They fit. Like yeah. they look big, but they really are thirty four. So when you put them on, they on his waist. Mm. They stop where they supposed to. They just look away. You like the jorts? I ain't get to. The, I, I usually just cut up my shit and do it like that. I got, I got, I got, into, the, I got into the. I got into the jorts this summer. I seen the Doctor Garments kid. Yeah, he's a big dude on Instagram. He was saying that the jorts was the John Cena's was the wave for the summer. Mm. Again, that's the youth. Yeah, they, I did that already. Yeah. I'm not going back. I, used to, I, 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 I grew up on big, baggy denim shorts yeah. that looked like jeans. And I don't know why we was doing that. But we did it. Yo, yo I'm going to keep it real with you. Like, bro, just put pants on, bro. I, I got <laughs> into just, it. It, it just started start right above my tattoo. But it's like, once again, they were comfortable. 
Like, like I never got into the hoochie daddy shit. I despised niggas that was hoochie daddy. I did it. But oh, you got to, hoochie daddy. But the material after Mac makes sense. Bro. You can't do hoochie daddy did No, no, no. Niggas is doing hoochie daddy above the knee, man. Shit. Yeah, All right, Nike shorts. I do. It. Listen, it was certain Ooh, Patagonias. It was certain shits like uh, the sweat shorts, right above the knees. But niggas going die high with it. It's you know. getting a little musty, man. But niggas was doing the tight. Yeah. I was it, never doing the tight. No, I'm not I doing was that. doing the Michael Jordan in '89 vibe. That's that was like, more respectful. The, the dick print shit. I'm, yeah, like, nah, nah. I'm like, yo, bro. What we doing now? I be seeing niggas in the gym be trying to get this shit off with the tight shit. Yeah, I'm like, it's too yeah, many dudes lifting yeah. right here. Like, there's no women where we at. That's why I listen. That's why I say I want athletic cut. I don't want to be brawly because 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 yeah. at some point in time a brawly dude has to wear a tight shirt because if he wears a bigger shirt and he has a big ass purpose. back, yeah. he just He's, looks like a big dude. Funny shit though, I used to never wear white tees yeah. until I lost one. I love white tees. Oh yeah, yeah, because it shows the the build. See, so when you big, yeah, it show your belly. That and, shit don't show nothing flattering. It nothing, show everything yeah, wrong. It, like, it show your belly, your, 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 your belly. Yeah, you got your you belly. Chill, chill, bro. Yo, chill, bro. This yeah. shit wet. Yo, niggas pulling on their shirt. Like, yo, this shit tight. Yo, you know, big niggas always like, this shit down. Yo, my this shit down. Like, you gonna pop? Gotta make sure this shit ain't cut under Yeah, that's me. I like, oh damn, down to the titty. Yo, I got it. Yo, listen, yo. When you big though, when you big and you ain't got no white feet on, yo, you get titty sweat, you get all bro, types of shit. It's so. nasty, bro. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's, the, the, it's so bad. But anyway, yeah. The fashion. I didn't get into the John Cena jorts. Mm-hmm. Um But yeah, it's um I think fashion is going good yeah. overall to answer the question. I think it's going in the right direction because it's being infused by the youth, which we need every five, ten years. You need things to come back because the kids never seen back. Yeah. You got to think if they 22 right now, 10 years ago, they was wearing skinny jeans. Everybody they knew, they own pops yeah. was wearing skinny jeans. And they didn't really know the baggy shit. So now that the baggy is into them, it's, it's new. new. It's brand new. Yeah. And of the, these brands are starting to realize, oh, they actually wearing more material. So now they can play with different designs because the pants are now bigger. So you can make cooler jeans. Where's your bow at? I ain't come back out. I don't know. Like I'm waiting like, for a pair. My man made these, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need. Mean, I might get a pair of those. I like those. These are sweats. Yeah, yeah. But they big sweat. They touch the floor. They wide. But he put the little crystals. If you look at Fashion Week this year, yeah. a lot of brands did this. Yeah, I did see it. A, a lot of brands were doing yeah. the bedazzled jackets, and that this is the thing now. He made these last year. He didn't put them out till this year. April. You know what's crazy? Though? But that's fashion. Though. You got to be ahead of the curve. When it comes, when it comes to to like street and shit, like. Streets, the street wear fashion always been like the staple that mm-hmm. that, that that drove the, the, the market. And then high end kind of catches the wave, but they have a machine behind them to take it. Cause think about it. Yeah. How long ago did I make the, the hockey jersey? Yeah. Years ago. I made the football shit what, two summers ago. Mm-hmm. Now everybody makes mm-hmm. wearing football jerseys. Like girls are wearing football jerseys. And you know why? Why is that? Designer brands. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Amiri made a football yeah, jersey. There we, the niggas went. there we go. But this is a regular vintage Barry yeah. Sanders joint that I got from the thrift. Yeah. And it's cropped. And it was $20. Listen. So these brands that y'all are running after and spending top dollar on are emulating things that already exist. So okay. if I was a kid, yeah. I would do my research and do my history on what was hot before you. Mm-hmm. Like I always been into vintage because hold on, no, 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 oh, I want to get, I want to get into that. I want to get into that, but, I, but back to the to the runway situation, all right? So mm-hmm. the rappers, yeah. So so basically, right, if for instance now the influencers, right? They're mm-hmm. they're being brought up on by these big uh these big fashion houses. We gonna use for us example, and then we can take a look and see what's going on. And uh, matter of fact, run the video real quick. You are, you're right. 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 Yes, God bless you. God bless you. It wasn't made in a day. And sometimes when you have plans to change things and, and, and situations, you have to get in a position of power and of influence where you can change people's minds and help progression. And sitting in my position, when I have conversations on behalf of organizations like that, unbeknownst to them, come out here and do themselves a disservice that's okay when that change comes everybody in this room will remember that i told you we're actually working on that and if she would have just asked me i would have told her 
But instead, she wanted to repeat herself. So basically, Pharrell got heckled. Oh yeah. For being, I guess the ambassador right now, or what do you want to label him as right now? An LV. Yeah. He is the creative director. Creative of director. Urban. Urban. Okay. Something like that. That's his. That's his title. But he's yeah. he's during that fashion where he's being heckled by Peter yeah. for saying that Pharrell uses animals. He kills animals. He kills and he tells the lady, you know, God bless you. All this other stuff. God bless. He's trying to get away from the moment, mm -hmm. but the thing for me is that are these brands really appreciating and giving the the power to these you know influencers? Because say so, he walked in the building like, "Yo, my power and my you know you using me for your audience," mm -hmm. but now I need things my way. I don't want to use fur. Do they grant him the position still if he comes in like that? How much influence does an influencer really have in a brand? No, basically my question. You don't have any. You have as much as they allow you because you don't own it. Mm -hmm. And that same thing goes for anything. If you don't own it, you don't own it. Like yeah. with Kanye with Adidas. You can have these feelings and you can have these thoughts, but you don't own your shoe. Your name is on it and mm -hmm. you own your name. But that entire a percentage, thing a percentage is name. owned by an entire other entity that is going to exist with or without you. Yeah. So because they know with or without you, we will exist and thrive. Yeah. Why should we give you that? You can't bring us down. You'll never be LV. Yeah. You're Pharrell. And we like you. And we love what you do. We love your creativity and your style. But now you want to try to do things against what we are. Yeah. And you can't do that. Yeah. So, but Amor, well, uh, what's the name of Supreme? Um, Same thing. Um, Tremaine. 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 He wanted to make Supreme more black like. Yeah, being that they, they lend it to the black culture. Right. So he's like, all right, so let's get some African prints on some things. And let's get, they were like, oh, you know. Yeah, that's not our job, right? Yeah, we're a skateboard brand based on America. Yeah. Let's try to push that. Let's yeah. push American yeah. things. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I get it. But, you know, I'm a black man. And he's like, yeah, but you, yeah. nah, get out. Yeah. You can go. And then they sold it again. Yeah. So if you don't own it, it's very tough. So you could be mad at Pharrell yeah. because maybe he used some leather or some fur on something he made, but he's not Louis Vuitton. Yeah, and he, he's 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 a uh, let's say the public face currently. Yeah. It's currently. basically like, yo, you want to make some Louis shit for real? Yeah. You can have whatever you want, and make whatever you want. Oh, like, oh, okay, yeah. cool, bet. I'll make some stuff. Yeah, I make some boots. Can I make some Timberlands? Go ahead. Can I put the L on the thing? Do what you want. What about some pants with pearls and the thing with the monogram? Yeah. Not that. Do it. We'll we'll fund it. Whatever go, you go need. Go at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because if it works. Mm -hmm. We look great. If it doesn't work, it's still a sell. We believe it's on. So my thing, they can't fail. So my question now, my, my follow up question would be, was Kanye trying to fight the bigger fight? Kanye was trying to do something that was above him. Yeah. Because he didn't own anything. Yeah. To where, like, you trying to be with these fashion houses that run the entire world of fashion. LVMH and the other one, they own Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. They're mm -hmm. all under this the web umbrella, yeah. of fashion. And Kanye's not under that umbrella. Yeah. He just wants to get there. But it's like, this umbrella was constructed before you were even anybody. So before you were Kanye, this existed. Before your mother was your mother, this existed. Yeah, yeah. So for you to come now, when this is a family business, most of those. See, but the thing is, right, in his defense, right, he has a vision. You know, he has a big brain. Mm -hmm. But the thing about what he's saying or what he's coming to the table with is like everything I touch that I touch goes into the green, never into the red. Right. Right? Why is it that we can't get a bit of stake in the, in the conversation? And instead of being brought in as hired talent, basically. Because you can't ask for what you want. You got to take it. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time, we are asking for these things. Yeah. It's like Tupac said a long time ago. We asked him. He was asking with this. He was asking with the Panthers. He was at, we ain't asking no more. We are hungry. Please let us in. We are hungry. We want some food. I'm banging on the door, kicking in the thing, blast. It get to a point where we're not knocking no more, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to stop knocking. The yeah. niggas is trying to knock, and they just like, uh -uh. Yeah. you see what Jabba Hove doing? He's like, I'm going to make title and sell it, and then I'm going to just be the guy. Yeah. I'm not going to have it. I'm just going to be the guy mm -hmm. that you have to come to for certain shit. Yeah. You want to perform at the Super Bowl? You got to talk to me. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Wayne. <laughs> yeah. But 
we can talk about that too. Because I'm a Kendrick guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm I'm, I'm a Wayne guy too. Yeah. But like, I, like same thing fits here. Yeah. Wayne wants something out of entitlement. You think you earned it because you're from here. Yeah. But you didn't put in the work. Yeah. Kanye wants shit because he's Kanye. But Kanye, you ain't put in no real work. Yeah. Did you? You brought in a name. Like you put in work with music and that worked for you because you that's yours. You own that. You made that beat. You made that sound. You got to make this in fashion. Mm-hmm. You got to take the same innovation you did in hip hop yeah. and fashion was like, that's Kanye. And he did that. He, he has. That's he what I was going to say. But Kanye he has. talk yeah. too much. Yeah, that's it. And I he get too big on his things that work. So yeah, it's like, yeah. you seen Yeezy did that, you seen my hoodies, you seen what I did. And it's like, okay, yes, and we loved it, and we bought it, and we respected and that's, it. And that's season, but keep going. Yeah, that's season eight, nine, yeah. versus, versus uh, let's say, a Ralph yeah. season or, or year 80. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Polo 1967. 67, you like, started Yeezy in 2015 yeah, or something? Yeah, that's, what, and that's and, what I'm saying. And in 2024, you like, I want to, no. Yeah, he want the Hermes conversation. Now, your daughter... She might get that. North may get that when she's thirty. And she's from she's from two powerhouses. Right. And yeah. I, and that's now, how that goes. Kanye can lay the groundwork. Kim yeah. can lay the groundwork. Yeah. When your daughter comes thirty years later, I got with thirty all years you've done. Yeah. All yeah. your wife has done. If yeah. she comes, that makes sense. They now. can't tell her no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They won't be able to because the following that she's built from her family, yeah. the influence she has from her family, and the money she's secured from her influence and her. Family, Absolutely. you can't tell them no. Kanye's coming from nothing. Yeah. Your mom ain't have no money. Your daddy ain't have no money. Your mom wasn't Kanye. Wasn't so she got, Kardashian. So she can she can lend to two different stories. Yeah. Like my pops struggled to make himself what he was. Exactly. My family, my my mom came from family and influences and all that shit. And I've my seen mom was it. the influence. Yeah. She I dress like first. Tony yeah. Paris Hamilton was the number one. Yeah. I dress like my dad. There you go. But. I get my hustle from my uh, you know and she's, she's black. You fuck you crack the fucking code. And she's black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And everybody always question people black. She, she, she's very black. Is she black at least? Her father is Kanye West. She's black. Okay, so yeah. She is black as a motherfucker. Okay. Uh, Your daddy is Kanye. That's the, one of the blackest rappers we've ever had. Yeah. He will he will tell you my daughter's black. You crazy. He crazy. Ain't like that white woman. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. It's all right. <laughs> black. You gotta get some whites. <laughs> yeah, you need them. You need them sometimes. Yo, before we change gears, you mentioned you touched on thrifty. Yes. So all right, let me let, let me slow down with this one because mm-hmm. at some point in time I was reaching out to you about thrifting. You know what I'm saying? Because I was I never really got into it heavy. People hate on it, but they don't but understand I, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't really, I couldn't figure out when I get first of all, I couldn't get past the first smell when I walked in the first door. Mm-hmm. That's the first. That's thing. what you want. The, 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 you want that smell? Yeah. yeah. This I, jersey still got a little smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want that? I, I didn't like. I couldn't fully engulf in the in the. Uh, the what you would say used, community yeah it's, it's used items re- repurpose not even that it, it's a thing though it's a thing yeah. now but i think the way that you introduced it to me mm-hmm. was hunting you were yes. hunting for certain pieces yes and it wasn't just saying this is thrifted because i see people say now this is thrifted but it don't be shit bad bullshit you can thrift anything yeah, yeah you can walk in a thrift shirt thrift shop pick up a t-shirt say i got this from the thrift yeah you did yeah however real thrifting like I, tell, like I was telling earlier, the kids, do your background history. Look up what was fly to your pops yeah. and take from that. Like my uncle used to sell crack in the 80s and the early 90s. He's in jail. He's from 30. Or he, he almost stopped. He got like five years. <laughs> but when I seen my uncle in the mid-90s with the blue foam pennies that's now coming back out, again, seeing those for the first time as a 10-year-old, yeah. was that 95, 96, whatever year? I'm 10, 96. 11. I'm 11. Yeah. So my uncle, I know what he do. We don't talk about it. Yeah. Nigga jumped out his car, blue pennies. I'm like, what the fuck is those? Yeah, I remember those kids. Holy yeah. shit. Yo, uncle, what's the... These are the pennies, little nigga. You don't know about these. are 200. 200, 200. These are the he had a big-ass gold ring. I'm like, damn, oh God. Damn. They smell them. The yeah. cologne he had on. He had on a little fucking John Paul Gaultier. Now, in the 90s. Yeah, the naked, man, the naked man body. That was some shit. Like, yo, what you wearing? Nigga, what you wearing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, you smell good. Now that ain't nothing, but yeah. now Cologne is still that's a guy, thing. That's garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Since though, yeah, 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 still a thing. So I, as a kid, I never smell like skin, y'all. Never. Yeah. I adapted that. It's nasty. Always smell like something. Yeah. I have a mom. My mom used to buy me the nasty little Avon, but I had something. Could smell like skin. When I go to grandma's house, you smell good, baby. Yeah, I got yeah. that. That was well, Stetson. It was in the book. Yeah. <laughs> but you remember time the things that was fly to you? I collect jerseys. I grew up in the Jersey era in high school. Yeah. So now, you know, you don't have the jerseys you had when you was 18. 
throw all that shit out. Yeah. But you know what? I like that one. If I could find that Mike Bibby, yeah. that'd be tough. Grizzlies? Kings. Oh, okay, yeah. If I could find that Mike Bibby authentic, mm-hmm. not the swing, not the Mitchell and Ness, yeah. the actual one they just selling Freedman's on flat. Yeah. If oh. I could find someone, if I could find that black and silver Charles Woodson, I'm still looking for that to yeah. this day. I'm looking for Dave Side of Mike. See? That's, That's thrifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you go in these spots, you already have an idea of things you're looking for. Mm-hmm. I go in a thrift and I see a blue Barry Sanders on the rack. I'm taking that. I didn't look for it, but I know what that means to me. And his career was very limited. Right. Barry yeah. Sanders was the reason I like football. My yeah. first favorite player. Damn. After that, it was Keyshawn Johnson. You know, I'm a Jets fan still, unfortunately. But it is what it is. What, what's crazy is that, like, like that time capsule of life, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. We're going to say the age factor again, right? Mm-hmm eBay was a thing, yep. right? But yep. before eBay was, well, during the same time parallel, we used to do forums. Yep, Nike Talk. Nike Talk yeah. and uh, boxing. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I'm saying? Boxing so, is still around. Yeah, yeah I, still, I, I still got it. I was going there for some shit. But the thing is, it's like, um, how can I say it? We knew what we wanted, mm-hmm. what it looked like, mm-hmm. and why we was getting it. Yeah, and you knew where. Yeah, these right. kids today, they don't have a why to it, but they don't know. They yeah. don't. They don't. Their culture is different from ours because they were inside. Mm-hmm. We were outside. Yeah. Our influences, the key things we saw. We had to go to Harlem to yeah. really feel a Harlem. What Harlem was. I, I was going. Remember Pegasus? Right. Going to Pegasus you to, go had get to go just there. to get hats. Go just to get hats. You had to go though. Yeah. You had to feel yeah. Harlem to know how Harlem niggas was and how to move. You had to like when Dipset was out. Like I want to go. Yeah. I need to see this. I need to feel it. These kids, everything on the internet. They yeah. don't go anywhere. And what people don't realize, Brooklyn, Harlem, Bronx, Queens, totally different All fields different. during that era. We dressed different. We spoke different. Mm-hmm. Our mannerism was different. Right. Harlem was very, very flashy. Brooklyn was more gritty. Yeah. What the fuck you looking at type. Queens is more, you know what I mean? The calm, mellowish kind of guys. And then Queens niggas had cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the yeah. Bronx, in the, in the Bronx, you didn't need a car like that. No. Nah. If you had a car, you was up. Queens niggas, or girls had cars in Queens. They were normal for them. You had, they were just a thing. Long Island, same Long, shit. Yeah, Long Island was just like, that's like Baghdad to us. Yeah, they were just, like they had that's cars. a whole and Brooklyn different Brooklyn and Harlem, and we took the train. Yeah. We drove too, but not everybody. Not everybody. Queens, yeah. everybody drove. It was, that was why I was like, you wanted a Queens bitch, because she gonna come to you. I hate when I ask somebody, yo, where you from? And they be like, New York. I be like, yo, what part of New York you from? They be like, oh, I'm from, um, I'm from Buffalo or uh, uh, Binghamton, Binghamton, Orange County. Um, uh, uh, I'm from, I'm from Westchester. You're not from New York. You're not from New York at all. Stop jacking that. No cap, stop jacking that. New York consists of five boroughs. The Bronx, Queens, Staten Island, Manhattan, and Brooklyn. You're not from neither of them, of them boroughs, all right? And I don't care what nobody got to say. Oh, New York is a full state. No, it's not. I see New York as just a city. If you're not from the city, you're not from New York. Oh. You're from upstate. It's a, di- it's a difference. It's New York and it is upstate New York. That's not New York. All right? So stop jacking it. You're from Albany. Where's somebody? Yo, where you from? Albany. Because in, Qu- in Queens, you lived on 120, 123rd Road, Street, yeah. and Avenue. She was all over the Boulevard. same lane, it's, it's place, all types of shit. No, I'm on 145 and think. No, no, you got you four blocks away. Huh? You hit the wrong spot. That's a fact. But yeah, the thrift, um, it's just whatever was fly to me back in the day, some of it still is. Yeah. And I've been into vintage since 2009, mm-hmm. like collecting. I used to collect polo vintage, like the teddy bear sweaters. That was a time. Not the knitteds, but the crew necks. Yeah. See, a lot of everybody connects to collect the knitted sweaters. That's the ones that's worth money, $5,000, yeah. $1,000 sweaters. You're talking about the printed. But the actual crew neck sweatshirts. Yeah, that's what I'm about. Well, like the the, uh, the 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 he wore like an outfit or some shit. Right, yeah. different bears on him. So I used to yeah. collect though. Me and Justin, yeah, we used to work together back in the day. We used to sit on eBay all day long, ordering old Jordans. Mm-hmm. Like before retros came back in 2014, yeah, I was wearing retros still. And niggas used to make fun of me. Oh, you still wearing Jordans? I remember that was a thing. Yeah, and it's coming back to that now, where it's like Jordans, ah, certain ones, not all. It ain't like it was. Where like, nah. yo, you got the nines? No, I don't need the nines. We get the files like I don't need them shits. But back then though, is when that re- retro yeah. started to come real, real back, and I was already on that. I was yeah, already yeah. putting cool gray lemons with the gray teddy bear sweatshirt, and when yeah, I used yeah. to wear that, and like, what the fuck you got that old sweater on for? Until niggas started being like, oh shit, you can't get that nowhere. Yeah, you can't find and it. And that's what make vintage fire. Yeah, you gotta search for this shit. 
You can't walk in not one store in this country and find this exact jersey right now. You cannot. Nope. And that is thrifting. That is the power of it. Now, if you buy an Amiri shirt, you bound to see nine other niggas in the party with that shirt. I got the first, <laughs> one of the first rich young hoodies still at my mom's crib with the flag inside of the hood. Mm-hmm. With the with like the, the gold X or whatever the case mm-hmm. is. I still got that shit. And man. where you gonna find it? It's you never, you're never gonna find it. It's vintage. But, man, find but what if somebody wants that? Now they, they have pay the, top dollar. No, but they have the thrill yeah. of tracking that shit I'm down. Finding it and me. then when you yeah. actually find it, it's like, yo, I fucking found it. Yep. And the gratification that gives you takes your shit to another level. Like fashion is cool. It's, yeah. it's microwave. That shit is fast food. Vintage thrifting and shit like that is a concise, premeditated style that you have. Mm-hmm. That I like this. You might buy a white tee that looked dirty and grimy. And they're like, well, that, that, that dingy ass shirt. But it, to me, it mean it. this shirt is from 1982. Such and such. You ain't even see the Fresh Prince episode when he wore this. Because yeah. you're not into the vintage yeah. shit. There's certain shit I have that I wanted because Martin had it. Hockey jerseys. I started collecting because Martin used to wear hockey jerseys on Martin. You know how much, <laughs> you know how many 92 Barcelona shit motherfuckers are trying to hunt right now? You should, you know what's crazy too? It was easy to find around the time, um, what was the year that, um, damn, what did they call it? Dream Team 2? 96. But what was the one? No, not that one. With Penny and them, so. No, it was one after one with LeBron and Melo and Wade oh, and that's Kobe. The, that's the, no, that was the, the old, team. that was the 04. No, the Redeem team was the, oh, the Kobe. The Kobe. That's 08. 08. 08. So yeah. around 08, or in the, one, the next one, 2012. Yeah. That was when they had Deron Williams and Dwight and all them niggas. Chris Paul. They made a Nike jersey yeah. jacket with Destroyer with the Dream Team in black and gold because it was the anniversary for them or some shit. Yeah. Around that time, yeah. you could have found all that shit for the low. Bro. For the low. Easy. I low-key want the 96 Olympic Penny and I believe Dawn Stanley. It's out there. That's only, up. That's only two I want. Penny and Dawn it's Stanley. The Penny had number six. Number six and I think Dawn Stanley was number five, I believe. The Penny you could find. The I Penny I actually see in the thrift but it'd be small. It'd be like a 42 jersey. But it'd be the plastic shit. Yeah, we gotta, I gotta, uh, it don't be the authentic. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the I want the, the Hardwood Classic Michelin S jersey. Oh, the Michelin S? Yeah. Olympic Michelin? Yeah. Oh, no. I seen it in Philly. I can't do Michelin S. This is me. Yeah, yeah. I personally, I cannot do it. I I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna find an authentic from '96. You can. You can. Find it. Cost you. Find it. That's the thing. People don't yeah. want to pay that chicken. Yeah, no, that but chicken. I take a Michelin. Especially leg. if they go wear it. Yo, for y'all, for y'all niggas wearing jerseys with muscles and the jersey's tight and your pants is tight, it's just dirty. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, that's bad. Don't man. do that, man. The tight jersey. That's why I don't like Michelin less. Yeah. Because niggas will buy the jersey small. I don't like. And will wear that shit. Yeah. And they be making swingmans. Uh, they yeah. make swing. Why are you making a swing man if they can't they afford Michelin swing man? Yes, bro. See, I'm out the loop. Yes. When you go in the store and you pick that shit up and they tell you 150, you're like, oh, all right. Yeah. And then you look at it for real, you're like, hold up. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. crazy. And you read it, it'll say swing man right there. Oh, listen, yeah. And, and uh, <laughs> in like 03, they used to have the, the uh, swing man magics. The color was just off, yo. Michelin Ness remade it. That same nasty, oh, it was like they a, have a swingman mission of that. It was Tracy like, McGrady. It was teal, wasn't it? Like it was no, it, it's blue, and the stars look terrible. No, but the one back in the day was like it, the blue was off. Yeah, it was nasty. It was not. It was not. See, back was. in the day, certain swingman was okay. Yeah, that depended on the team. I remember I had a Rasheed Wallace swingman blazer. That was tough. Yeah, because you couldn't really find a sheet authentic mm. like that. Yeah, I do. Yeah, but the the. Authentic Blazers jersey was Nike, right? Mm-hmm. That material was totally different. I know. It was like a polyester versus like... It was, it was like, like silk jer- like, Yeah, because cause the, the, the swing man was wearing like jersey as yeah. feel. And like, they were thick. Yeah. And Michelin Ness jerseys be yeah. thick. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I got original jersey still. I still got my mm-hmm. original team out. Still got it. Still wear it. I yeah. wore it to Disney. They just like, oh shit, team, oh shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's 01. With the, with the, with the, with with the, the star. The big stars. Yes. Yeah, Still got I it. Those. I had, it was a 56. I had it tailored to a 48. Mm. Smart. I was going to sell it. And my man was like, no, I'm really telling that shit. I gave away so many. I had yeah. so many shit. I gave I'm still looking for that Steve Francis Rockets. Which one? The first with one. The, the Rockets. Yeah. With the proof. It's out there. Yeah, it's up. Classic. They got Classic. it in a 48. That shit like 600. Classic. Yo. The Baron Davis, too. Let's play a couple more bills. 
we're gonna jump back right into this conversation right here, man. Fresh thing. We hit, man. We right back, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, you're tuned in to Let's Talk Fashion with Mr. Rich Threads himself. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, and leave a comment or two. As long as you're here, don't forget to drop by the merch store and pick up some merch. We got t-shirts, hoodies, coffee cups, and even stickers. The link is in the bio. It's also pinned as the top comment. Now here's your host, Mr. Rich Threads. Remo! Yo, welcome back, y'all, man. Listen, take the opportunity. Go shop at the merch store. Got a bunch of shit. You got mugs, stickers, tees, hoodies, whatever you need, man. Just take a look at the merch store. Link is in the description. I'll pin it on the top of the comment if you're watching live on Wednesdays at 10 o'clock. But let's jump right back into this conversation. Adidas and Jerry Lorenzo Fair God Basketball. The whole entire collection has gone on sale. A couple of episodes ago, I did say I felt as though that it was no traction with this brand collaboration and they should just move on from one another. And Edwards is doing this thing and he's a Adidas basketball athlete. Jerry Lorenzo's brought into head and spearhead the Adidas basketball, I guess, section. It just not has not worked. I felt personally that he has been chasing the ghost of Nike because his, his, his clothes kind of been looking. I wouldn't even say that. Uh, well, of, on the footwear side. Most of the game. It's hard to feel. Well, all right, yeah, yeah. That's the shadow he in. No, but, but, but is there an issue that why would you buy Adidas Fair of God when the cozy shit is essentials and it's cheaper? And that's what I mean by like owning it. Yeah. When you don't own it. You only can do this so much. He probably had a lot of ideas yeah. that they dubbed. Like, you can't do this. No, you can't put that logo in. You can't write essentials on this. No, you can't do that. Like, well, damn, I, I can't. All right, well, fuck it. Put it like that. See what, what happened. And he'd be like, Ugh. His price point never really made sense to me in Adidas. Because, because I, it's Adidas. Yeah. And I feel like when he, he should have never took that when he left Nike. Yeah. Once you leave Nike and that didn't work with Nike, mm. that's it. Don't go to the competition because now you can't spit it. To Nike now, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't to, spin. You might have learned something out of Adidas that you could turn the Nike up, and they like, we do. Yeah, we got Travis. Yeah. Travis is working still. I don't know how, yeah. but we good. Thank you. We got Cactus Plant. We just got Nigo working on some shit. Yeah. They got Nikes. Will be okay. Um, the fear of God thing. I just feel like Jerry expanded himself too much. When he first got hot, he didn't even have a logo. We just had to know what it should look like. But still, it's like a unique version of Three Stripes. It's like, that's it. No, I'm talking about his brand, period. Like, before he did Essentials, when he uh, was just Fear of God. Okay, yeah, yeah, And Kanye yeah. was just wearing the ripped up pants, and niggas didn't know what that oh, was. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. It was like, yo, what's some jeans Kanye got? We didn't know. Yeah. We had to find out. Oh, Jerry Lorenzo, Fear of God, what is that? And yeah. then it became a big thing. Yeah. But he had, like, the own, his own little sneaker that he used to fuck with. Yeah. He had a little hot top boot looking sneaker, and that's yeah. when Nike Hollow, like, oh, shit, nigga, you do fuck with? So Come over here with yeah. them hot top. Let's see what happened. It ain't work. But it did it wasn't at bad. first. No, yeah, it wasn't bad. Though. Until he started doing yellow and orange and all that, that's when it kind of like, all right, now. The, the, the hot tops were the only ones that was passable to me. And only a couple colors. Like the, the tan on tan, the black with the with the tan so and that was it. Yeah. Maybe the black on black was, yeah. was passable. And he went too far. But then he went low top, and then he went with like a half zip. I was just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. So then he went from that to Adidas. He went over there to Adidas. And it wasn't a signature shoe to the brand. Like, he was making... I think he tried to get Jalen Brown in it initially as like the signature athlete for the brand and then that went left and now he's at what Anta? He's somewhere. He's he's somewhere. Oh, Jalen Brown, he, he he ain't saying he's off he's, he's off branded. He was making like bootlegs of he trying to do some Kyrie shit. Yeah, whatever the case might be. It didn't work out for Jerry over there. And I kinda said that they should just dissolve the partnership. But it's like where does he go from there? You gotta go back to what he was doing, which is it's, it's more expensive and it's more time consuming and I know he probably had a break working with a brand like Adidas because they do a lot of leg work mm -hmm. but he got to go back to the ground and get back to what he used to do which is go to your factory and make sure the denim and everything is perfect make sure nothing gets passed without getting checked make sure all your shit is top 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 like before when Kanye first put your shit out there and then you came low with it with essentials now 
during the pandemic, that's all niggas wore. The kids, yeah. they didn't want nothing but essentials. Grown niggas was not, if Nike Tech is done, yeah. that yeah. shit got Nike Tech out of here. Yeah. Like, nah, essentials, bro. I just want to say, I don't want the sweats. I just want, niggas, you just wearing the pants. They ain't want the whole set. Yeah. Give me just the hoodie. I don't need the whole thing. Give me just some sweats. Flying out in it. Like, Chilling, yeah. bro. I had like four or five of them shits. Now I just got pants, but I wish he would drop again. It's like, I'll be looking on packs on every week. Like, yo, he ain't dropping this week. Fuck, I need some great sweats. <laughs> They cut the and it's good quality and, it, too. and it's and cheap. Heavy. Seventy bucks for some sweats you can wear all into all spring, and then you get a new pair next year. Mm. See, so need to go back to that focus there. Your your brand and your your uh, what do we call it? Your uh, is influence? Nah, your 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 calling card. Yeah, is that? See, uh, it's but comfortable but the, clothing. But the the thing I the thing I would question now, right? As the community and, and, and the environment moved away from what no. he could present. No, because I think he's still got the youth. Kids love sweats. Yeah. They don't want jeans. Mm -hmm. You put out some new essentials, they're going to eat it up. Yeah. As long as you got the youth, you're mm -hmm. fine. Once your youth grows up, <clears throat> it's hard to maintain. So what about in the footwear space? In the footwear, he'll leave it alone. Yeah, I wouldn't touch footwear ever again because he didn't have to. He didn't come in that way. Yeah. He didn't come in off footwear. He had footwear that he made. <clears throat> but it wasn't. How you feel about those moccasins? Sneaker moccasins. And I seen a nigga like trying to like put them together and it had like a cuff and. I don't know. I haven't seen them. Yeah. I, I like the Viz Vim joints that they used to make, they used to make back in the day. Which ones are those? The Viz Vim, remember the Viz Vim's little sneakers they used to have, like kind of used to rock with the little loafers and little tassels in it in the back. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I used yeah. to love those. Yeah. I couldn't afford them. But I used to like those. They made some burger socks like that. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the tassels. With the tassels in the front. Right. I gotta find those. I gotta find those. They fire though. Cause I'm into that now, Birkenstocks. And, it, and the tassel has like a teal, like a little teal oh, on there. I need it. If I, if I'm I, into that. I'm into like the the dad shit heavy now. Yo, listen. I'm telling you, when you walk, when you older and you walking around, your foot feet get a little sore and shit like that. Bro. You throw your foot like, like yeah. I wore fours to work the other day. Ooh. I don't think I need fours no more. Like ones. For what? Like ones too. Like I, I got rid of all my ones except for expensive ones. I can't walk around. The unions I kept, but maybe yeah. my girl went half on them. It was a bag. But we, I kept that. But yeah. that's all I really need. Like yeah. I don't need Travis Scott. I don't need breads. I had them. I, I did it all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I did it all. My kids. I mean, they get to the point where we went school shopping for my daughter. She picked some Jordans just because she didn't know what else to do. My daughter, I just take these. My I'm daughter like, is wow. five <laughs> right now. She's like, oh, I got the Jordans. So I asked her, I said, you know, you know what he even looks like? Well, what, you know what? With that being said, you know what's kind of crazy, though? Certain sneakers that we grew up on and certain sneakers that, like, became, like, I guess, quote-unquote, grails, because mm -hmm. I don't think they grails exist anymore mm -hmm. to this society because I think people are more aware of sneakers and it's, like, the resale market kind of changed. Yeah, grails died when, when reselling came out. And it got too crazy. Oh, so grails became attainable. Yeah. So but, that's what I, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so like... Things that, that you know, remember they were once upon a time. There's people sleeping outside of stores, guys. Yes. For for sneakers that were releasing 48 to 72 hours. Because ahead that was the only way you could get to obtain them. Yeah, there was, there no, was no apps. apps, and we need to go back to that as a sneaker culture. Yeah. You want to see sneakers pick back up? Get rid of these apps. Well, you want to get rid of these bots? Yeah. Get back to bots. Yeah. Hundred percent, and you limit people to one pair per customer. Yeah. No coupon, no nothing. That means that one person come in, that's a sale. That next person come in, that's a sale. You buy whatever size you want. You yeah. only get one. See, back in the day, what fucked it up? There wasn't none of them rules. So when the Yeezys come out, nigga, let me get thirty. Yeah, you gotta give it to him. You got the money, get that's thirty pairs. You gonna tell him no? Yeah. Now that you didn't even realize this, this nigga taking them thirty, and he going right outside the store. Hey, yo, Yeezy size nine. What size yeah. you need, bro? Give me four hundred. Yeah. Taking all your, yo, ain't nobody shit, woman in there no more. Shit, one twenty five. Right. He was selling it for four. He didn't make his flip. But 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 those crazy things is that those things, those sneakers that we sat. Well, I never sat outside. Before. No, I always bought early. Yeah, I just spent the money. I bro. spent a little extra. I, I always pay for my time. Paying 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 pay time was convenient. So like, how much the bread eleven, bro? Yeah, you want three twenty? Because it was like, well, after tax, it was like I got two eighty, bro. Yeah. I got two eighty, and you could bargain back in the day too. And they would take it. Yeah, they would give me two eighty, give me give me. Because for a fact, because it wasn't supposed to be selling it anyway, right. so it's making him over first. Right. But the same shit that we stood outside for, or we waited for, or we paid early for, they try to bring them back out these days. 
and they don't have the same effect. Like the blue pennies. Just came back out. Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. The, these kids are not, they didn't grow up with moments like that. And it's, it's not the kids they market into. It's they us. market into us, but we moved on. Yeah, and I don't think Nike doesn't understand. They don't understand that, hey, I don't have 250 for those phones I had four times. I've had that shoe four times. I don't, have I don't two, need them now. I don't have 250 because I got to pay for summer camp. I'm not paying 250 for a sneak I've had four times. Yeah. There's nothing new and about out, this shoe. And then more. Yeah. yeah. They're coming out for more and more. Phones stuff. used to be 180. Then yeah. they went to 200. Then they went to 220. So now 20. they're 250. After tax, you're paying $274. I had, at one point in time, I had about maybe like eight color phones. When I decided to sell those phones, I still got $200 a pop for each one. You now, retail. Huh? Now you ain't gonna get shit. Yeah, now they don't give a shit about them. Cause I like, think about it, the the uh, South Beach LeBrons. Mm -hmm. People were you wearing them, putting them back in the box, and putting them up for sale, and making bread profit. You always make a profit on or for a hot used. Shoe. If it's a hot shoe, it always holds its value, even if it's used. I used to sell my sneakers. The niggas used to call me crazy. Yeah, I'd be on Instagram like, yo, I'm selling. Like, yo, why you selling those? We don't sell them. I'm like, bro, these ain't have no value in a few months. They just brought those the South Beaches back out. Nobody gave a shit. Exactly. And we found, time. Yeah. Like even like for instance, what sports athlete carries a brand that people care about? Right now the only person I see making any type of wave is uh Ann Edwards. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say him. I would say Steph Curry is the only person carrying a brand. He is single handedly carrying Under Armour. There's nothing. But are you seeing Under Armour in the streets? People no, wearing it? No, you go on a basketball court, kids playing them. No, no, yeah, oh, no. I'm talking about culture wise. Oh, culture wise? A yeah. basketball shoe? Yeah. Or any athlete. I don't see an athlete who can Because think about it. When we had back in the day, we had Ken Griffey, uh, Barry Sanders, yeah. Dion, uh, Michael Jordan, Penny Hardaway, Shaq, Allen Iverson. If you wanted to get down to the hood, Stephon Marbury. It was so many different options for these kids. Kevin Garnett had a good shoe. Kevin Garnett had a run. Uh, Jason Kidd had the zooms or whatever. Yeah, was going. Like um, this, I, I would say this these days the designs of the shoes aren't working. Yeah, it's not the athletes because the athletes are what they are. Mm -hmm. Paul George is every kid loves Paul George. His shoes are trash because the shoe is physically, literally. You look at it, and I don't want to wear this. Yeah. Giannis is super lit. You look at his shoe. I don't want to wear those. I don't, what do those go with? I'm not wearing Dames. You're not wearing Dames. You're not, not wearing, wearing Tatums. You're not Lucas. wearing Mellow Balls. You're not wearing Lucas. You're not yeah. wearing Zions. You're not wearing fucking LeBrons. You're not going to wear them. And it's because the, the brands don't put money to the shoe anymore. John Morant's shoe should have sold like crazy, but he caught that case. Yeah. And instead of Nike turning that into a creative thing to sell shoes, yeah. He laid off of them and said, all right, we just going to lay low, let them set it out, oh, and we'll come out with yeah. the jaw too. So now you see the jaw too being pushed, and it's like, I don't even want the jaw. I don't even know what it looked like. That's okay. Then they got bookers, the books. So He's giving like, them away. He's in West Forth giving shoes away. Yeah. His kids are taking them to consignment stores, and they're like, we don't want this. Yeah, that's and he signed them. Man, yeah. we don't want this. I, I, can't, I can't sell that shit. Take that shit out of here. Nobody wants Devin Booker's shoe. It's an ugly shoe. Yeah. And, and it's like it's like he's given the iterations of shoes that matter. Yeah. With color. And, and, and this is what I'll say too for Nike. If anybody from Nike ever sees this, and I know they don't give a fuck, yeah. but they make money and that's their thing. They don't care about the people. Mm -hmm. Nike, you have to move on. Yeah. You can't keep giving us the same things. Your audience that loved Air Max 95s is 50 to 60 years old now. This is not 95. The shoes that mattered in 95 don't matter in 2024. Kids don't know who Ken Griffey is. So you bringing up the fresh waters again for the seventh time isn't going to make a kid say, damn, I need those Griffey. They don't know who he is. You're not telling the story. The shoes come out, they just hit the shelf. There's no posters. There's no merch. There's no commercials. Yeah. There's no anticipation. They just told you every Jordan coming out next year all summer. Okay. You already know the five's coming back out, the yeah. grapes coming back out, the one coming back out, this coming back. All right, I'm gonna just wait now. The threes. When we was in school, yeah. When did we know? East Bay. East Bay. East Bay. Yeah, East Bay. Somebody in school had the East Bay and showed you. Y'all seen the fourteens? Yeah. Black and green. What? When they come out? Oh no! Nah, let me get a picture. Let me take this picture. Oh. You can take the picture of your mom. Mom, can you get me these? 
and then you would go to Flatbush or wherever you lived, go to the store, yeah. you would see them in the store, yeah. and the only thing was your size. Yeah. Yo, you got a nine? No nine, bro. Fuck, go off the block. They got a nine. Yeah. They got a nine. Go downtown. Somebody got a nine. You have to run around. Yeah. For and that was the thrill. That was of the element. Yeah, that was the That was thing. a joy. I'm going to get the Jordans, and I gotta go get them. Yeah. Ain't no app to just. Or you got. Or you go on the way. You make a call. Like, oh, y'all got this such and such here. Like, yo, please don't sell them. I'm and they were telling right you, yeah, we got them. Yeah, well, you got to get down here quick, bro. They're yeah. moving. Yeah, I'm going to leave them in the register. Jump in the dollar man. Yup. Jump in the dollar man. Go to don't shit. Shout out to Get Set. Used yeah. to get all my shit over there. Shout out my man, Corinne. That's still my guy. Yeah. Go to Get Set. Yo, Corinne, get, no, Corinne, bro. I need these. I got you. I got you. Just come. Come. Yeah. You good. You good. Yup. Yup. And yeah. that's what it was. So now, there's none of that effort. Kids don't got to line up for sneakers no more. When the shit come out, they got box. They paying hackers to get them 20 pairs to their door, and then they putting them on the app where you got to pay double because some nerd that don't even know what these shoes mean to people got 20 pairs they, in they, his garage. They, they starting to brick now, though. So because now they getting caught up with And this is what pairs. it is. The yeah. I'm, I'm in year threes. Yeah. Perfect example. Before they came out, $700. Yeah. Re- pre-sale, 700 Damn, those shit's a fire. Look at the quality. You look online, they're showing you the little videos. And then they come out. And then you just go on StockX. Damn, under retail? I'm going to tell you why. Because it's a Jordan 3. Yeah. How many threes you going to give me? Mm-hmm. How many I'm mm-hmm. mama years are you going to make in the same colorway? How many collect? How many collabs do you want me? Do you wear I'm mama year? The clothing? No. no. Nobody does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never said, yo, that's a hot I'm mm-hmm. mama year hoodie. Never know, never knew the brand until y'all collab and made a shoe. So when you make a shoe and you bleed them, you gave us the I Mom and Year threes the first time. We love those. The white pair, clean, four, nice. Six, four, then you gave us the ones. We were like, eh, I don't really care about the ones like yeah. that. They are right. And then you came with the fours. And that's when it was like. The tan fours? Mm, not the tan one, the little violet looking jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, had them. Them. Yeah. I, had them. I like them. But they are comfortable and they're heavy. And then you start to realize, like, wait, the them 12s twel- was terrible. They did twelves, then they did fives. Yeah, yeah. And it just yeah. started to OD. So now when you get to the three, and you wait, you did a white one. Now you go do a black one. Yeah, same. All right, it look cool, but it's the same shit. But and then the palette, the palette color that you select is it's like I'm not paying moth. They can use moth and burgundy. It's and, and it, it becomes overkill. Travis Scott. They yeah. came out with the yellow joints. Great. Oh, the uh, yellow one. The little canary. It gets to the point where yeah. you get you can oversaturate your own market, yeah. and people get bored. It's like, all right, I got the first Travis Scott's. No Travis Scott will top that first pair. That yeah. first brown one that mattered when yeah, he wore yeah, him yeah. on stage and it was Astro World and it was the biggest shit in the world. That is the only Travis Scott that will matter. That one in the first low top, the brown one. Everything after that. No, I, like, I, I kind of like the black with the black with the white stitch in the hell. Those are cool, but because they're black. Yeah. All the other way, and the little fragment one was popular because it looks like a shoe that exists. The hot top Jordan one fragment was a gray old shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the yeah. point now, nobody cares about that shoe. Yeah, you can yeah. walk in here with them right now and be like, what, the what is those? All right. Yeah. So what is a gray old really? It's like Clark Kent used to say, a shoe is only worth what you're willing to pay for. So if you're willing to pay five grand, that shoe is worth five grand. But to me, motherfuckers got to wear these shoes though now. Like, people, I don't, cause, 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 all right, I don't know if people wearing them. The element of surprise with paying extra for the early release was wearing it before you the release date. See, that's another thing that's that changed our culture, too. Wearing the shoe. Having the Jordans early was the flex. Yeah. It, everybody going to get the Jordans. Mm-hmm. I got first. Yeah. You got to wait two weeks. Yep. I'm going to wear these shits every day for two weeks. And when they come out, I ain't going to wear them no more. Yep. I'm going to get the next one early. I'm going to get the next one. And that makes you that nigga now yep. because of that. Because the, the conversation goes, yeah. the conversation goes, damn, you always get the Jordans early. And then girls start noticing. Yeah. How you keep me your sneakers early? Come to my house, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> How you make it? You give me the I'm like the I'm like the twelve. You give me the twelve, I'll give you that here. You got some money? So hold on. Wait, 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 wait. when it comes to the sneaker brands, you start to see New Balance catch a little bit of wave. Yeah. A6 is picking up I steam. I told people New Balance was lit two, three years ago. I yeah. told niggas like, yo, I don't know if y'all paying attention. Yeah. But the game is off that that basketball retro. People want comfort, comfort, and style. comfortability. So then New Balance said, "We gonna roll out all our our cop. We gonna pull out the five fifty. We yeah. gonna pull out the two thousand two R. These are all retros from New Balance that yeah. people just never seen because they wasn't wearing New Balance. Mm-hmm. So they caught on like these shoes are new to people. Yeah. 
they've never seen these. All they've been doing is, and they splash, splashing some colorways. And I think their collaborations has been awesome. Because they collab with people from the actual culture, culture of yeah. New Balance that makes sense, yeah. that fit their aesthetic. Joe Fresh Goods is from Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a New Balance city. Yeah. That's a stylish guy from Chicago. So no, don't, say that, too, don't say that too loud because I'm just these, saying. these things from uh, DC been having been in the comments talking DC, heavy. DC. Y'all been talking heavy. I get it. I love DC. Yeah. Niggas, did DC get fly too? They, they said they said shout uh, out to Wale. They said they're the birthplace of the New Balances. I did a little I research. I can't argue with them. I did a little research on it, and I'm gonna give my comments to y'all. I can't argue with them. The dope we boys out there. We wasn't doing nah, New Balances. We wasn't New we Balances. We was doing five seventy fours, and only the navy blue or the gray. The, the, they the, was doing different yeah, ones. We, we, we had like the, those ones we had was like gang sneakers. Kind of yeah. Like the gang, crip, the, crip, the, the Crips balance. had the blue ones, and then the folks had the gray. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there was, was no red option, but it wasn't no red. But now. And they were Asics, right? Yeah. This is my thing about Asics. Asics got hot because of Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. Balenciaga had an Asic shoe. Look alike. Yeah. It's distressed. They got glue and shit on. The laces is filthy. Yeah. That shoe went viral. A lot of rappers were wearing that shoe. Asics seen that and said they're copying our shoe. Yeah. And gave them like a. And they brought like this like the silverish colored. What they did, which was smart, is they know their demographic. Yeah. You know what a kiff. We've been doing bits with Ronnie yeah. since the other Asics, and nobody really fucked with back then. But yeah. Asics is not new. Correct. People think Asics is a new thing. Nah. This is not a new wave. Yeah. They have been Asics niggas for at least 15 years. When the Asics Gel Light 3s, Salmon Toe, the Black with the Blue, there are a lot of Asics that niggas don't know of that are very, well, used to be very valuable that Kith rung into the market. Yeah. So it's only right when Aces got back in the beginning and said, we're going to go to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave him the Keanu 14. I still have him, the 2022 pick. All white, cream, silver. Yeah. Came with black laces, cream laces, white laces. Yeah. If you know, you know. Right? So when you see them on feet, people don't even know that I'm wearing Kif Nuba. The they think it's the same shit they had on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The back of mine is silver. The back of yours is probably purple mm -hmm. or copper or different colors. Mine is all silver. That's the Kiff pair. The first pair. The new Kiff pair is a Kiff in the back. Yeah. So they had to tell you. I like the ones that you don't even know. You just have yeah. to know. Low key you shit. look for the green insole. That's how you know it. They've been, um, they've been collabing with the, well, both brands. New Balances, they said they've been collabing with, you know, now they, now they got uh, Stefan Diggs. Yes. As a brand ambassador. For, yeah. You know, he got his own, like, I guess, a line. Or yeah. Action Bronson got a shoe with, um, with, new with Ace with New Balance. Um, you got Joe Fresh Goods. Joe got, Fresh Goods. The Leahy he been buried. Yeah, he's over he's there. killing over there. Uh, even Jada Smith has a thing with New Balance. Correct. You got the, the um, other kid, uh, with Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow got some. He's over, over there. there. Uh, he got some shit coming out. Uh, they doing they doing it the right way though, in my opinion, because like, damn, a basketball player just signed with them too, a big one. Which one? Zach Levine is there too, I think. Yeah, he Zach, is. Uh, what you call it? Kawhi's Kawhi is there. Kawhi Leonard. There you go. Kawhi is there. Kawhi is there. It's another ball player that recently signed Blue Bounds, and I can't remember right now. It might be Drew Holly, but I don't think so because he's been wearing Nike forever. Mm. But yeah. But Blue Bounds is doing anything. I, th I just think that the way that they do transition into the influencer space and allowing the influencers to tell the story lines is the difference. Yeah. Because Nike been trying to tell us these old stories from 30, 40 years ago this is the thing and I, I think nike dropped the ball with nigel with his new shoe yeah they fought this is what nike does you break the fifth wall here this is how nike operates right now if you pay attention you can see this drop yeah because i gotta break the fifth wall i don't know if people know that they set you up to buy things yeah so that shoe nigel had was the first time you've seen that shoe mm -hmm. that low top four Silhouette, the new four, four RPM, whatever the fuck. RN, the yeah. RM. So they made two pairs with Nigel Sylvester. Yeah. Nigel's collab usually do well. Nigel had a Jordan one that did extremely well. Yeah. I had them. I wish I kept them because you'll never see those again. Um, but, um, they used him, put the bike air in the back instead of Nike. And you're like, oh shit, that green pair is hard. Damn, the gray pair is hard too. Guess what? That's not Nigel's shoe. Yeah. That is a Jordan shoe. And there are 60 colors of that shoe coming your way. You're see, not going to want any of them. Didn't I just tell y'all that last week? Well, we, we had a conversation about this, right? And mm -hmm. I said, Nike was nasty for stepping on the rollout of those Nigel Simpsons. Previously on Let's Talk Fashion. 
want to go in. I'm here to talk about Nike. Nike, I don't know what y'all got going on. Y'all looking crazy right now because y'all looking like y'all just trying to attach yourself into anything that's influential and seeing what sticks. I I guess y'all just got a hit when it comes to Nigel Sylvester telling his stories. But then y'all took the whole same sneaker that y'all gave him a PE of, or I guess it would be a PE being that he's still a Nike athlete, but he rides bikes. Whatever you want to call it. But you took that same brand that you gave this young man or the same silhouette and kind of started slutting it out with different colorways. So that was nasty because, you know, just let him breathe. I don't know why I just couldn't let that man have that silhouette and just let it rock out for a couple of months and see what the attention came from with that brand. But to each his own, I'm just saying, new, new, like Nike, you got to figure out what you want to do. Yeah, because the attention and the storyline they lent to him mm-hmm. to announce they making a uh, black cat, they stepped on it. But that's the thing. They about to slut him out. They, they do that with everything. That's, that's just, what people don't understand. Yeah. You thought Reimagine was just the lost and found. Mm-hmm. Until so they hit you with the patent the leather bread fours. Yeah. The patent leather bread ones. That was Reimagine. <laughs> the white cement threes with yellow on them. But then they bring out the black cement threes and they look, they look normal. Yeah. Yeah. The so why was, you left the black cement threes regular white clean and you made the white ones with the yellow on the side with the, with the yellow back? T- why you do that? Why you just ain't give us a clean white Nike Air Three? Why why you had to do that? Why you gotta be reimagined? We go buy it. Yeah. Stop. And they, 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 that's the shit they do to raise the price and to reel you in. So now when these come out reimagined, but you could buy these right now on eBay for two fifty. It's the same shit. I put my own laces in them. It's the same Nike Air, just don't shine in the flash. What are you, why are you, why are you waiting for them to give you something that they gave you already? Yeah. When you can get it now. The thrifting thing. If you go in the thrift store and see these clean, you go buy them. You can do that on these apps. Go on go. They got these used for 250 240 your size. Brand new, clean. They ain't going to fall apart. They only eight years old, 2016. Yeah. Nobody, in 2016, he sat. But the thing is, I, they sat. A lot, of, winning King's Plaza. a lot of these sneakers are starting to sit now because they want the, the new iterations of the new balance. They, I went past a high school the other day and I've seen so many kids in new balances and they said, they still got young feet. Yeah. They, we need those. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? That's where the culture is going now. And I can't even be mad because we wanted what we wanted as kids and our parents didn't understand it. And it's not up, it's not us, up to us anymore. We're, we're, yeah. But I do understand it. Yeah. My stepson, eight, 17, he wanted the black and silver ASICs for school. Yeah. And I went on, I said, how much is them shit? 375. Mm-hmm. I said, that's where we're selling. It's not on Jordan's no more. But our mom and years are under retail after release and plain black and silver ASICs. That's no collab. It's 350 on apps. I was trying to get that's them the recent. I was trying to get them blue, uh, sh- the, the Chicago versions to the, the, the uh, belly. Joe Fresh Goods. I got the black. Ah, yes, yes. I got yes. the black pair. Yeah, I was trying to get the, the blue pair was the red one, but, but it was the only it was only released in Chicago. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, you know, and yeah. that's the that's the shoes that you would go hard for yeah. because of stories yeah. like that. Yeah. Trying to He's from out. Chicago. They only released in Chicago. I yeah. want them because of that, yeah. not because they hard to get. Because the story attached to it. Yep. The Jordans, right? Certain jo- like back in the day. Let's take you back. Let's, most people remember the Galaxy pack, the yeah. Galaxy phones, the Galaxy KDs. Galaxy KD just came back out. Nothing. The 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 uh, they dropped the KD fours. Yes. It's sad. The no, nerfs. Those those the, the nerfs. Yeah. Nerf yeah. KD fours yeah. used to be a grail, but why? They only released at House of Hoops. Mm. So you ain't go to a House of Hoops and line up. Yeah. You wasn't getting them. What they came with? Special box with the Nerf rim with the ball. You get them now. It's just a KD box. Yeah. The, the original the presentation. Uh, the story all gone. Original Why would I buy that? PlayStation uh, PGs. Yeah. It came with the whole setup. Right. Even the, And uh, those first four Georges did well. I don't the, know what happened. Remember the year, year the Dragon Kobe's that mm-hmm. came with the outfold box and the, the little ankle cuff. It was so much. Man. It's a lot of stories. It, like, all right, them, uh, what else? The 17s, they just came back out. The white the yellow. Case? They never came with the briefcase, the low tops. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah. the hot tops came yeah, with the briefcase. Yeah, yeah. And then you're changing yeah. things, yeah. and then you raise the price, the price. to $300 like, for, for the 300? lows. 300 Retail. Oh, no. For the lows. Mind you, back in the day, the yellow shit sat. Nobody wanted those 17s. Yeah. 
Nobody wanted the white and blue. Nobody wanted the white and yellow. Those were the summer pairs. Yeah. They even had a black and silver low top that came out. Nobody blue. wanted those. They wanted the highs. And they came with the little, uh, the little blue sticker. Yes. Yeah. People only wanted the highs, the college blue, the black and silver, the white and red. Yeah. Because it came with the suitcase yeah. and the DVD. It was only one two hundred dollars, one seventy five plus tax. Yeah. So that wasn't bad. You get the highs, you get the booklet, you get to watch it, you get to listen to the music, whatever it was, and you got the shoes. So now I'm paying resale six hundred for a sneaker in a box that never came with a suitcase. Yeah. So you lying? You giving people I'm fake trying, nostalgia? I'm trying to rewrite the story. You giving right? fake? Why you won't give us the college blues? I really want to sit with a Jordan executive and say, listen, brother, when Jordan came back to the Wizards. The first shoe he wore was the white, black, and blue 17s. Mm. There was a lot of marketing behind that shoe. To this day, you've never retro that shoe. Buy. I'm waiting on that. Where is this? The story is there. I just seen a clip of DeMar DeRozan talking about how much he studied Wizards Mike. Yeah. You tie that into the marketing. But DeMar yeah. DeRozan's a Nike guy. That is not a problem to get him to come to a Jordan commercial. Yeah. That is not a problem to get that off Gilbert Arena's podcast and put it in your ad. What do you, well, I don't understand what y'all not seeing. You can Michael Jordan is still alive. You can get stories from this man. He just did the last dance. It was the number one. You can talk to this nigga about these shoes. Yeah. And get Michael Jordan to sit here. To build a nostalgia. Though. You get him to sit here, right? You get him to sit here with this retro. And you get Luca right here. And you let Luca cook. Mm-hmm. And you just let Mike sit there and just smile. Luca's gonna wear these this shit. Every fucking kid in the world yeah. wants that 17 now. Because Luca's wearing it. And it's a retro of a shoe that I've never seen. Yeah. And it's for performance. Yes, for performance, because it was a shoe for when Mike came back. Do you remember with, with the with the, the mellow tools? Yeah. Like those were probably the last PE. Edition. And they came back out. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they and they were Yeah, they didn't do anything. But during that the time those too. During that time though, those were like, oh shit, like those are fire. The mellow twelves that came with the hoodie. The black yeah, and baby blue. The, uh, with, with the, the black and baby blue hoodie. Yeah. That was in 05, 04, 05. I, that, like, those were shoes that you seen on niggas. Like, damn, how the fuck you get those? You yeah. had to order them. Yeah. That's the order you could have got them 12. You had to be in it. Mm-hmm. I remember this nigga I used to work at McDonald's where he used to come with them and I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> and I hated him too. But he, yeah. Damn, them shits is fire, bro. Yeah, yeah. And he went to school in Coney Island. Nigga came through. North Face, Mellow. It was like, oh. He got me. Can't stand this. Yeah. They got the mellows. Oh, and remember, Mellow came in the league. He was hot. Yeah, yeah. Mellow was hotter than Braun. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, Mellow was hotter than Braun. Yeah. Niggas ain't want them, LeBron. We yeah. wanted the mellows, bro. Yeah. The twos, yeah. I wanted them. Mellow had some fucking 12. I wanted the Mellow 12. He even had some Mellow point fives. I like those two. Niggas yeah. was wearing them. I don't know what the, the little ones. It looked like fives, yeah, but it was not. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Mellow fives. Yeah. Oh, we wanted them. Point five. We wanted them point five. <laughs> Mellow, you know what? Mellow had, remember, he had the point two with a little shit that was weird. <laughs> I had with the strap around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little curl I, I had the point five. I didn't have the, the, the other ones. Mellow had some decent shoes, yeah, bro. It wasn't bad. And didn't then it? Mellow had shits he wore that never came out that was like, damn, I ain't gonna. Damn, the white, blue, and yellow. Yeah. Now gets 12. Woo. Yeah, he had a couple. He had a couple of jumps with his name on the back. Yeah. Signature, yeah. That was kind of fire. And that's what we missing. If you go do re- like Ray Allen had retro, like it was certain play. Mike Bibby, they said yes. Mike Bibby sneaker collection is the, was the craziest crazy. shit yeah, you ever yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. he keep everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mike Bibby got PEs that you never seen. Yeah. And he, he said him and um him and Derek Anderson from the Spurs started mm-hmm. the Low Jordan because Low Jordan didn't exist before them. Mike Bibby was calling him like, Yo, yeah. did you cut them twelves down? And they was like, You want them low? Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause he said two days later he got black and purple lows in his yeah, locker. Yeah, I remember low fives. And that started from them. Yeah. They, there was no lows before Mike Bibby. See, but he that's... started that. Low top five, low top sixes. That was all Mike Bibby. Because he liked lows. That's, that's the, Niggas that's, was like hooping yeah. in lows back then. Nostalgia, though. That's... And now you see low top six, you see low top five, you see low top whatever, Mike Bibby. Low top eights. They had the little one strap. Yeah. Mike Bibby. That's crazy. He got all the PEs, black and purple, black on black from the king when he was there. I wouldn't even know that. And that's sneaker shit that niggas lack. The knowledge. People think having to be a sneakerhead means you got shoes. Sneakerhead is not what you have, it's what you know. Any nigga could buy a sneaker. Every nigga can't tell you about that sneaker. They can't. They can't tell you, oh, Fresh Will Smith wore these on the first episode of Fresh Prince. You wouldn't know that because you don't care. You're not in it. You're not, you not. You see the picture on the internet and just think, oh, shit. What well, Martin did for us in sneaker space. Like, I bought the Taxi 12s because Martin gave them away to the little kid on the episode. Kid, yeah. Yo, here, shorty. Oh, wow, mister. I was like, yo, pops. Hey, yo, <laughs> what's those? I need them. He's yeah, like, you yeah. want those? 
We went and got them just that week. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, y'all. This is shit been getting crazy today. You gonna stay with us? We gonna do this fashion and clashing? Yeah. You here? I right. Nike, yep. get your shit together, bro. Don't go too far, y'all. <laughs> We're going to be right back. It's Fashion the Clash, our favorite part of the show. We'll be right back. Enjoying the show? Take some time out. Hit subscribe, like, and comment. Back to the show, guys. Yo, what's going on, man? We back. It's your favorite part of the show. It's Fashion the Clash. You know what it is. You like what you see? Something that you would put in your closet? Of course, it's fashion. And it, it's a nasty look. You ain't fucking with it. Get it the fuck out of here. That means it's clashing. Let's go check out the first look and see what we got this week. Welcome to Speak Your Fear. What's your name and where you from? Blue famous DJ Clue, Queens only. You know the vibe. Nice, big Queens. Speak right. your fit to me, brother. Describe your fit. Shit, this is light, man. Little Rick Owens t-shirt, Rick Owens sneakers. Nice. Guapy jeans. Regular shit. It's nice, nice. Shit. nice. Sure. One more question. What will older Clue tell younger Clue? Yeah. Invest better. Nice. And sooner. Hello. Thank you, brother. Over to you. What do you have for this one? I'm not mad at it. Clue don't look bad. He look good. He look, he look age appropriate. So you go on fashion? I say fashion. For Clue. I would lose the fitted, but I know his hairline ain't the greatest. I've seen backstage. I hated that whole shit. Yeah? It's but you gotta you gotta give the age. I was 50 something. Is he? He is. The pants is nasty. It was 50 something. Like when you look at 50, right? But, but, Queens niggas just match. They don't really care yeah, he, about the he look. Is clean. I'm giving him clash regardless. Yeah. I just the, the, the shirt is too big and he's yeah, he's and like he's little, five three. Yeah, he's small. He's like, your shirt now, is too big. I wouldn't wear it. I wouldn't wear none of that. But I, I do like it for Clue. I don't think he looks outside of himself. I don't think he tried hard. I just think he got dressed and like I just cool. I'm not wearing that. I got Rick Owens on, that's what the young niggas is wearing. I'm not approving it. Not those ones. You know who dressed bad? Yeah. Wiz Khalifa. And I love you, Wiz. But he dresses like shit. And no. I know everything he yeah, right, right currently. He's, he's on his with, right uh, wave. He's with, uh, what you call it? Uh, ben Since Slacking. He, yeah. That's who he's, he's influenced yeah. behind that shit. And that kid stinks. He yeah. smells. He looks like he stinks. Yeah, but, but, but Clue? Yeah. It's Clue, man. You know? Uh, he's a legend, man. Shout, shout out Desert Stone, man. Without Clue, we wouldn't have Fab. We wouldn't have a lot of people. Joey. We wouldn't have Joe Budden. Rest in peace. We wouldn't Stan. have Stack Bun. Have shit certain whole records. I I can't do that to Clue. I'm doing it. <laughs> it's clashy, y'all. Let's go to the next look and see what we got. Walk me through your fit and tell me how much everything costs. Supreme T-shirt, point dollars at the thrift. Misfits wrist band, thirty bucks. Jinkos, hundred and forty at Rogue. The chain guys for free at Rogue. The shoes are Adidas from the two thousands, thirty bucks at the thrift. Random ass belt from the thrift. The chain is from my dad's old wallet, and the watch was from my mom, Casio. The earring is homemade. You want me to start this one, or you want to? You just on it. I can't stand these young kids, man. I get it. Is the effort? I right, cool. He's going yeah. pay for them jeans. Yeah, they taxed him. The yeah, jeans yeah. is free. I'm, I'm gonna go clashing. I just the sneakers was trash. The sneakers was whack. Yeah. The pants he overpaid for. The shirt, you could have went to Target for that one. I ain't with it. The Casio, why none of nothing hit that made it seem like yo. And, and, and I'm not even gonna say that just because he's young. Because when we was that age, we was putting shit together. Yeah, we gotta factor in his budget. I don't know what his budget is. But like. we was doing shit at a budget as well. Yeah, I would just take whatever I had and try to make it work. That didn't look swaggy. No, nah, but I, I like his spirit because he's he's where I am. Where it's like it doesn't matter if it look good to y'all. Yeah, this is cool to me. So it's fashion. Like, I, yeah. So it's he fashion. likes the pants. So he likes so the sneakers. So it's fashion. To me, that's fashion because he's gonna get better. Yeah. Right now, he's a young boy. He's just doing what is around. So he's seeing Supreme and the big jeans. He's seeing that. Mm-hmm. When he get to the point where oh, oh, I could do it like this, mm-hmm. and I could do it all, and then he get a little height on him because he a little kid. He ain't grow yet. He's still a kid. So Once he get to like high school, so he starts so seeing more. Give him his credit. For his I'm gonna give him his credit because he's doing it. He in the right way. He yeah. just don't got the right items. Okay. Once he learns some shit, yeah. oh, he's out of here. Once he learned, like, yeah, I got this from Nick, because he already know, oh, this is from such and such yeah. 2000s. Like, he already in the learning his shit. So once he get to, oh, like, all right, mm-hmm. man, I got to get this type of shit. Oh, I got, no, nah, I can't do the big jeans. I got to do these kind of jeans. Once he learned yeah. what's what, uh-huh. 
he gonna be a beast. He giving it. He giving it. Yeah, I'm giving. Crazy. I gotta be optimistic. Cause yeah. see, I see myself in him. Man, fuck that kid. When man. I used to wear shit, and <laughs> be like, yo, you. Yeah. I'm be like, bro, I like it, bro. That shit was. Terrible. And then years later, niggas were like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You was always you. Yeah. Yeah, them shits was kind of hard. They're like, yeah, cause you just was following the crowd. Vision. Vision. Yeah, yeah I got. I'm a Virgo, so we see things first. And I'm a Libra. I like to keep things balanced. But right. On that one, we gonna go to the next look. Yeah. That, that was some bullshit. But he gave it a double. No, we see his stuff first, and we try to help people. I ain't mad at it. Y'all let us. Y'all, listen, there's always a comment section down below. You can let us know if you're tripping or if I'm tripping. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Next look, y'all. Hey, how you doing today? Hi. What's your name and where you from? I'm Mia Long. I'm from Brooklyn. Who BK is definitely the house. I'm playing. Her. <laughs> Woo! Why are you playing? Who fit? Describe it today. Oh, this is um. It's a very feminine dress. I love it. Okay. Ooh. Philip Glenn. Damn. Oh, it's a little bad. Okay. It's happening. Can't show the toes for free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can't, no, no. Can't oh, show okay. the toes for free. Can't show, can't show a lot that. Of money. If you give anybody a styling tip, what would it be? <laughs> wear what's comfortable. Uh huh. Just wear what's comfortable. Wear what makes you feel good. What makes you feel sexy. Oh man. He alone still looks good. Man. She oh, look good. Hold on, yeah. I need a moment. I need a moment. She look good. I mean, she look good. She look good. She ain't let that little break up her butt. Exactly. Yo, listen, I'm going to go fashion because I was feeling what she was saying. She looked good in her dress and at her age, she up there. But she's, you know what I mean? She, she's still looking amazing and she looks comfortable like she told y'all. Where what makes y'all comfortable and it's so classy. She, she didn't look like, you know, you know, like sometimes when these older women try to dress out of their element, <clears throat> you can tell that they look Yeah, Vivica Fox does that. yeah. The best dress older head though is Tracy Ellis Ross, and I'm not being biased because I love her. Yeah, her she, swag is she amazing, just, she and just, she switches up too. She has a very nice style. Yeah, she has different looks. She'll wear some mom jeans, and then she'll show the wagon every little once yeah. in a while. She don't got no kids neither. None. Um, but I like Neil Long's fit. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. Black. The bag was fire. Yeah. Um, her hair was very simple. She didn't go. Crazy. I think a lot of women like mess up their outfit with the hair. Mm -hmm. They go so over the top that the dress don't really match the yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, your hair is so grandiose. Your dress is so yeah, chill. Yeah. It's just like, it don't work. Like, you make your hair look out of place. Like, you too, up here is too much. And it made you look, like, make you look cheap because the bottom don't match. Like, you spend all your money on your hair and then you just put on some sheen shit. Yeah, that, yeah. that can't work. But I think her shit was, like, well balanced. I think that was her hair, too. Mm -hmm. Which is very refreshing to see women with their own hair. That's yeah, nice. that's coming back too. Women is getting off the BBLs and yeah. they're getting off all that shit. So that wig trend is gonna slowly start to decline because money getting tight. Seven hundred yeah. for a week a month. Stimulus that shit. is bullshit. That is shakes ain't rolling around like they used to. So yeah. you going fashion on this one? I'm gonna say fashion for them. Okay. All right, so we 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 finally we on the same page. Yo, let's go to the next episode. I heard y'all wanted to know how I made these shorts. Whoa, with me, whoa, with me. Balling on a budget. See, I know I went to that thrift store. For this, you're going to need two ties, two white button-ups, and one pair of shorts. First thing we're going to do is grab one of the white button-ups and lay it out flat. Because we need everything to be even when we cut it. Next, I want you to cut out the chest part of the white button-up, leaving more room if we mess up. At this point, it should be looking like this. No worries if it's a little jaggy. We like the mess. I'm not going to lie. This is when things got a little ghetto. I don't know how to tie a tie, and I don't know how I know how to tie a tie, but all you got to do is take the left part swoop it around do it one more time pull it through the hole and then do the little slip part that's the only advice i got for you baby and just like that you a good housewife but y'all this is what the tie look like now grab the tie put it on the collar now that we got that situated go ahead and grab them pair of shorts and cut a big old hole in them a big old hole we almost done so hold on next thing you're gonna do is grab the button up that's already been cut out and has the tie on it and put it on top of the shorts keeping everything centered in in the middle i want you to tuck them little excess pieces underneath the shorts through the hole hey perfect i got two methods for for you for all my people that know how to hand sew go ahead and grab that needle and thread and get to sewing them edges y'all already know how to do it i ain't gonna talk to y'all too much about it all right everybody else listen up go ahead and get some safety pins but if anybody asks auntie did not teach you this go ahead and start safety pinning the edges of the pants to the white button up and do that all around the perimeter until it feels secure look at you you auntie baby look at auntie baby made the shorts good job and just like that we ate them up again but i'm gonna see y'all in the next one shoot what do we got <laughs> I like it. I'm not mad at it. Um, I mean, it's a female, so they can do a lot more than we can do. Yeah. Um, but um, I do respect the creativity because I have done pants like that where I cut holes and fill the hole with something that I wanted, either a stripe pattern or a bandana or 
a sweater I cut up that had a certain pattern. I put it in the holes and patch it up and try to like, in my mind, I'll see it away. And then when you do it, it's like, ah, when you wear it, it don't bend right. It don't lay right. But she got it to where it was like perfect. So I, I come in. Yeah. Um, as far as the fashion part goes, I'm going to say that's clashing. That's mm-hmm. some of that Lower East Side bullshit. <laughs> you got to tie and, and you get the fuck out of here. Man. Like that, all of that, that... That's clown costume stuff. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm not walking around with shorts with button up sewn in it with the tie on. That's just too. It's it's weird. That's weird. That's not like you got up and went to the thrift and wasted. That, that took two days. Yeah. She ain't do that shit in one night. That you had to cut it, sew it. That take time. And you, you, that take time. Mm-hmm. And that's the result. I get it. I respect the creativity, but that shit is garbage. It's gone. And the fit she put with it was yeah. worse. Yeah. Like, you try. Ah. And you go walk around, oh my god, I love your shorts. They're lying, they're lying to you. And most people will be like, what the fuck? <laughs> they ain't gonna say that at all. They just go like, what the fuck? Dude, everything he said, I'm gonna just go with that. You gonna get that all day, what the fuck? Yeah, I, go, I listen, I go with the sentiment that he go with, because I felt the same way. It's it very creative. Creativity does matter when it comes to, you know, me fashion, but I just feel as though sometimes we take outlandish statements and like, yeah. you know, shit that... I don't even gotta say it, man. Let's go to the next look, y'all. Cause this right here, this was that wasn't that was. Yeah, because there's always people around. I don't, I don't like how I look today. I feel really ugly because that chemical peel. Yeah, and you looking beautiful today. You don't have to lie to me, but I love you for it. I want to make my um my video for today because my online friends want to see it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take it. Okay. I feel good in that gown. Not today. You good Not every day is a good day. From head to toe, baby. You. I love it. I like it. I love it. The iconic Silver Lake male You. You know. You know. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to share that with my friends. <laughs> I'll take the lead on this one. That's clashing. I hate her whole outfit. The, 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 the tea. The iconic or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. The pants is kind of wack. And then the shoes was terrible. Yeah. And the parts that she said she hated the be- the most was her face. And the hat was on top. I like the hat. That's probably the only part of the outfit that I like. Maybe the hat and the graphic tee, but the pants and the shoes. I hate those stupid ballerina looking shoes too. So it's clashing for me, man. What you got? That look. That that look would have went no different had she put Sambas on I feel like a lot of girls ran with that look, and I hate it now. The denim jeans with the rips, with the sambas, with the purse, or some, a t-shirt that's old, too big, a hat, some shades, or a soccer jersey. Y'all have to learn how to dress. That is not a, that is not a fit. That she has socks on with them shoes. Yeah. You don't wear socks with those. That's like no, you don't wear like ballet type shoes. You know, that would have went with a tennis skirt. That's not for jeans and socks. Right, that's number one. You wear you, you got the right thing, but you wearing it wrong. Yeah. So if that was if I was her man, I'd be like, don't wear them pants with that. Don't wear them socks. Just wear a skirt with that. You could keep the shirt. You could even tie the shirt. Lose the hat. Or if you go do a hat, do one of the little knitted buckets. You could do that with the skirt combo. That looks good because the top look like the bottom, and then the shirt could be whatever. You could do your accessories. Make your accessories stand out. Yeah. So if you go wear a shirt like that, she pulled her chains out, but the, the shirt was so ass. <laughs> you ain't even want to look at the jury. So your accessories went to waste. Yeah. That shirt was that's a Michael that that's that fake vintage shit. I be telling people about. It. It's a shirt with Michael Jackson on it, but it's a gray wash. So you would think to the naked eye, oh that's vintage. vintage yeah. No, that's a gray wash shirt that she got from a website for two ninety nine because I used to do clothes. Mm-hmm. And I know where you can get them faded, ashy looking shirts. You can put whatever you want, you can do a director garment and you make it crack a little bit and look vintage. Yeah. No, it's not. A vintage shirt is a vintage shirt. You can't fake that. So if you want to really put your look together, sweetheart, I would have went to the thrift or I would have went to a vintage shop that has real vintage shirts and invested in a good vintage shirt that looks the way it's supposed to. So this way, even if your fit was that, your shirt would have got so much attention, nobody would have looked at them shoes. If I had on some real Michael Jackson vintage shirt or a real vintage shirt at all, and they are like, damn, that shirt is hard. Nobody would have looked at your shoe. They'd have seen your bag and you think, Nice shirt. Yeah. And you all day you didn't even like, oh, damn, okay, thank you. Nobody looked at your shoes. 
You're a female. We ain't looking at y'all feet like that unless it's summertime. Yes. So when you to, to, and it's nice outside, and you got on them shits with socks. Talking about you and Matt, you don't like the fit. We don't like you. We have a reason, yo, yo, you go. There's a reason. Yo, 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 chill, chill, Listen chill, to yourself. Chill, chill. <laughs> yo. Oh my god. When you you people know when you. Get Yo, let's go to the next level. Hey, how you doing today? What's up, my boy? Good, man. What's your name and where you from? Vando from Houston, Texas. Yes, sir. H Town is definitely in the building. Yes, Stop sir. playing with them, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see the fit. Describe it today. Oh, uh, shit. We can go top to bottom. Okay. This is on some New York on some cool shit. Little shopping day. Uh huh. Uh, I went. Uh, got a fitted hat. Uh huh. H Town representing. Represent. On the shades, we got uh, Louis Vuitton. Damn. Nothing crazy. Uh huh. Vintage T. Okay. Let me uh, see the Ricky. Had to go Ricky on the dinner. You okay. Uh huh. Had the Rick them boys at. See the kicks. You see the kicks. Uh, Peter on. Virgil. We only do the Virgil kicks. Absolutely. You know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. Uh, on the bag we got LV. Speedy. Shout out to my nigga Pharrell. Shout out to Pharrell. Got a little capital just for the aesthetics on the but top. But we see the watch. You see the watch. We got a little. Rolex Sky Dweller. Okay. Factory okay. diamonds. It's a little different. Let them let them know. You know, know what I'm saying? saying? We'll, we'll talk about that. You gotta show that belt. And then the belt, you see it. Damn. A little stolen art. You know what I'm talking about? A little spinners for the H time coach. Okay, okay, you're not playing around. And okay. then uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Just some cool okay, shit. Okay, okay. If you give anybody a styling tip, what would it be? Uh I say just wear whatever makes sense for you. It ain't gotta make sense for nobody else. Damn. Just vibe out, right? Vibe it. out. I like that, I like that. What say you? I like it. I don't like the purse. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the shoes. Mm -hmm. He could have did the yellow ones. Virgil okay. has those in yellow. Yeah. And I, I don't think I don't even think baby blue is that a real color? Yeah, that was baby color. blue. Yeah, that was color. That was one of them. I gotta think. I know he did yellow. He did green. What is it? Is it the baby blue white. had like a, a, a silver? He did. He did, he did like a green. silverish check or something. They all got silver check. All the color ones. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You're right. He yeah. did have. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I like this um, shirt though. This shit is cool. I don't like the hat. I don't like the back. Everything else works. Yeah. Um, I feel like the bandana he could have did back pocket instead of tying it to his purse. Um, <laughs> the pants I like. Yeah. The t-shirt I like. Vintage. Yeah. You see, you can tell it's vintage because it's not white. It's a dirty white. That's mm -hmm. fine. You can see his accessories because the shirt fit properly. You have the big jeans, yeah. it's a fitted shirt. That's how you should do it. Your shirt should not be oversized as the shirt, as the pants. That's just too much. Um, I didn't like the glasses. I would have lost the glasses in the hat and the bag. Everything else would have stayed. Mm -hmm. well, overall, so it's fashion. I'd give it a 70 out of 100. Passing grade. Yeah, pass. Okay. I'll I take it as fashion. Yeah, for sure. And in the sneakers, which is, I, I love seeing that. Yeah. Once sneakers be doing the weird shoe with the, yeah, I got the Balenciaga Ugg boot collab. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, the big, yeah, doofy, yeah. suede boot. Yeah. That's, yeah, like, nigga, you need bottles because you like those. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's on the market. You bought them cause they in popular. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna go fashion with this one. It was it, it was cool. It was a good look. Um, I I, I do like the purse. Well, uh, the man bag, whatever you want to call a satchel. Is that a satchel? It's a purse. Okay. <laughs> it's a purse. We got we gotta stop doing that. We I rock, gotta stop lying rock, to each other. Me personally, like, niggas don't wear purses, and niggas wear purses, and it's fine. Y'all y'all don't they don't make you less of a man. Yeah, I rock it. You Most of the shirt, I, I just don't wear uptowns. Yeah, no. So I probably would have swapped the uptowns out with something else. I'm not sure what I would have put on in that space. What would have been fire is a, a dope pair of Ginger 16s. Niggas don't know about those. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know what I'm saying? That's another shoe. You know, but. The culture didn't, they, you know. They didn't appreciate it. They just never came back out either. Jordan Waddles on the Wizards. Yeah. I had them out. Yeah, I did too. Niggas teased me and it, and it was, it was uh, on the sales sale. Right. It was on nobody sale. liked them. Yeah. It yeah. was a nasty color back then. And they had a and they had a a, a, a ginger uh, what you call it? What you call condom on it? The lace cover. Yeah. And you couldn't even wear it because it was so tight. Yeah. Yeah. It just hurt your foot. Yeah. So I, overall, I give it fashion. I'm not mad at it. The hat was uh, kind of too big. Or you could if you gonna wear the blue sneakers, you gotta pop it off and wear like a like an oilers, like an oilers hat or something yeah. like that. But but he could never get that fit off in Houston. It's too hot for them pants. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Texas is too hot for them. He had to do that in New York. That's yeah. why he said that. I ain't mad at it though. Is it? It's passable. It's, it's fashion. Let's see what else we got. No. Get ready for a stunning all black wedding look. I started with a pair of polished polo style men's leggings. Then I added a sleek button up shirt and I complemented that with the tailored black blazer. And to top it all off, I you ain't got to finish that shit. He got a, this is clashing right here. Yo, Pinocchio. The man got leggings on, B. Check it out, put your pedal. Oh, 
or, or who is dancing with the, what do they call it? Moon River Walk, whatever the fuck. This is nasty, bro. Yeah, yeah. This is the yeah, You look yeah. like Nacho Libre. Remember that shit? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. see the, the curl on it, the, the t- and I hate the long pointy shoes. The nigga look fat but skinny at the same. Look at his legs and look at his head. Pause. But he got on leggings. Leggings. As with a pants. belt, though. As pants. This is how he walked out. Did he tuck the button up on? Didn't? Bro. Yo, next up, yo. We not. Nacho Libre, get the fuck out. Yeah. What's the worst fashion trend? <laughs> All y'all niggas that look the same. Stop wearing the same shit as everybody else. Okay, okay. Put your own style on it. Put your own flavor. You feel me? Gotcha, gotcha. I really like the fit, man. Can we get a fit breakdown? The fit? House of Arizona jacket. You already know where we at. Uh huh. House of Arizona shirt. Uh huh. Chain. Okay, okay. Low G1 flip. Got you, got you. BB Simon. BB Bell. BB Bell, okay. Pants. Uh huh. Helmet Lane, you feel me? <laughs> Shout out to them, okay. Scary Labs. Scary Labs. All right, babe. What would you rate your fit today and why? My fit today out of 10 is like a 10,000. You know why? 10,000. Because I got a jacket on and it's 90 degrees. That don't even make sense, bro. Like, think about it. It don't make sense. But that shit look good, though, right? Now, this is the guy I was referring to early in the episode. This is Dr. Garments. That's him. That's the in live. That's this name. Yeah. 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 Um, I've known of Dr. Garments for a long time. This is a new version of him, so I'm not going to talk bad about him. He used to hoop. He used to hoop my brother. He was okay. Now I see why he went to fashion lane because basketball wasn't going to work. However, he is one of those people that dresses for attention. And when everything he puts on looks dumber and dumber by the day, there is no way he saw those shoes and said, I have to have these. There's no way he picked up those glasses and said, I must wear these. There's no way he saw that flip phone chain and said, this is it. The BB belt, cool. The pants, cool. The button up, not mad at it. That small shirt, he has it open because it's too small. This is a tall guy. He's tall. Yeah. Shirt too small, gang. I know you skinny, but when the sleeves don't fit, it's too small. But because of whatever it is, you felt that niggas ain't gonna care because it's this. I'ma just wear it. And he wore it. And it looks terrible. He has on mad shit. He has on mad shit. He has on a button up. He has on a, sh- a, a, sh- a, a Sherpa jacket hoodie, shades, flip phone chain, handkerchief in the shirt. Is that a handkerchief with a tie? And a band aid. A, a band aid on his forehead, <laughs> yeah. a watch, five bead bracelets. Them trash shoes, that heavy belt. Yeah. It's still September in New York. He's hot. Yeah. Not, 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 not. Does he get credit for the BB Simon? He gets though? no credit. No? This is all ass. And this is them. He did low LES every day. Yeah. This is that lower east side garbage. Yeah. That niggas go down there and get this off and think they did something because everybody looks stupid. Mm. And it's easy to stand out when everybody on the same dumb shit. Like, yeah. Got these dumb looking shoes on. You like these stupid ass. God forbid anything happen. He can't run. Yeah. You can't move fast. You can't get into no issues with niggas. And that's why I be saying when y'all niggas be on this fashion shit and y'all be talking tough, mm-hmm. but you got a purse on and you want me to think there's a gun in that bag? Nigga, wouldn't nobody put a gun in that bag? <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. Yo, yo. Me personally. But salute to Dr. Cole. No, no, I'm, I'm not even <laughs> saluted. I'm good. It's good clashing all the way around and uh i'm just more upset that you know the g-shot era was such a wave and he's making it look trash he's trying to come back i think it's just trying to bring back g-shocks yeah. and ed harder that's the thing right yeah. now yeah. i'm noticing that i'm like y'all have to stop i like, ed I, like I like the g-shocks though I still g-shocks got a is cool it's, a, it's like no different from an apple watch but, but to go, but to go with with the iced out joint right now the way he wearing it it's just like he's he's searching for goofy He's, no, he's trying. Because he cause, put that band aid on like this will kill him. Yeah. You purposely woke up and put a band aid on your forehead. Put a band aid on your forehead. Now, yeah. if you got cut, Different. then cool. Yeah. But you don't. Yeah. I don't think you cut your forehead. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not jacking it. Because I don't think you do anything athletic to where you could actually cut your forehead. You didn't have a fight. Yeah. Nah. All the way through, I'm going clashing. Uh, this is poop. 
I think we got one more look. You can take That's a look and see what bad. we got. Hey, New York, what are y'all wearing? Explain the outfit, start the shoes, go up. What are your shoes? So, I got on some Balenciaga ski boots right now. All right, Balenciaga ski boots, what, what's the rest, bro? The rest, this is Mud. This is a brand from one of my friends. Okay. This is Trippin' YC. Okay. Just a veil, little, like, hat. I'm just gonna say a, hat. A little hat. Yeah, yeah, a little hat. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Not nah, sun, sun slight. And then what you got on? You got um, a pile of filled shirt. Okay. Some Balenciaga uh, shorts. Motocross boots. You already know the dunce cap. Yeah, what? And a freak mask, bro. And a freak mask. Yo, what what inspires the style? I like being creative. And where I'm from a lot, we're, we're rated the worst fashion city, so. Where are you from? What's the worst fashion city? I'm from Boston. So hey, I've never been to Boston, so I can't speak on it, but what do you do for a living to buy clothes? What do I do for a living? I'm a manager for a lot of rappers. What, what does bro do? Him? He's just kind of around, bro. He's just hey, around. you be around, bro. I, I get it. New York fashion. Yeah, let me go. I, I know you about to go crazy, so I'm going to take this one. This is, fat. this is clashing all the way through. I don't know what's going on with these kids in New York City. And the fact that... Boston, the fact that the Seth fact Boston. that the fact that he wanted to wear it in New York City, this is giving black KKK. I don't even know why this was accepted to be cool to even wear outside. He looked like like a gothic Batman, bro. I'm not jacking it. It's nasty, and, the, and everything he had on was the ticket on it was high price. So I don't and know. That's what they think is cool. Yeah, I, I'm not going with this, but you know, I know you're gonna go crazy. He had on them stupid Balenciaga boots. Oh. That's the same shit Wiz Khalifa be wearing with shorts in the mirror. The Alaskas. He be, Wiz Khalifa been posting them boots in the mirror with shorts and a motorcycle jacket every day for three months. And I hate him for that. But I will say this. Mm -hmm. These niggas is not from here. So we can't even... But we have to understand when people come to New York, they're trying to put on their best. He thought that was something. He thought when I go to New York and I put on this leather... Cap nigga with the, with the long with the blade coat with these dumbass boots. Yeah. This video was from last week. Yeah, it was eighty five last week. Yeah, it was eighty five. Yeah, where you go? And he said a veil. This nigga has some black shit hanging over his face. You can't see him. And it's like that's not fashion. Yeah, that's that weird. is bullshit. Yeah. You look like you was a movie extra and said I'm gonna rock this. Mm -hmm. You look like you was an extra in like Blade or, or Batman or some shit. And he was like, yeah, just stand back there and just look like this. Or you was in a Kanye video or some shit, and you just kept as a, the fit. As an extra. Yeah, you just kept the fit from Kanye video. And said, I'm going to wear this in my New York. Like, <sighs> so it's safe to say it's, it's clashing. Definitely clashing. Definitely trash. My thing is the... Trashing. Big, no, we need to get to the mentality of these people to understand why you think that shit is cool. What made that... What inspired you? Damn. I want to ask this shit. Why don't these niggas go and, they, and the, the, the nigga interview them don't look no better? Yeah. Right? I want to, what inspired this look? And I want you to really sit there and try to think of some bullshit that, that you gonna come up with to say, y'all was inspired by, um, this. By, 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 yeah, by, by what? By nothing. You yeah. wouldn't inspire nobody, no, nothing inspired that. Yeah. You didn't see nothing and said, this is my, this, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. you, you're full of shit. You got confidence, but you don't because you won't show your face. So you ain't seeing the looks that niggas is giving you when you walk around New York City. This is New York City. You can't just walk around like that yeah. and niggas don't yeah. film you. Get your shit the little kids are going to be like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. They going to say something. The old white ladies in New York will say something to you. They will speak. They will, the Karens out here? Yeah. What you is, can't. What the fuck do you have on? You go to a Central Park with that on. They're going to call the police. Yeah. Because they, yeah. they, they don't know why you're wearing that. Yeah. And the cops are going to be like, some just shit. take it off, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And you go like, it's my freedom of expression. And they go beat you up and send you back to Boston. Was that fit worth it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This shit out here worse than a lot of things. We got migrants out here taking niggas' cribs. And then here you come with this. What do you, who you inspiring right now? Mm. Come on. You know, you're a lot of niggas manager. Shit. Who's letting you manage them? Yo, uh, yo. We got one more. Fist from the streets, who we'll have a pleasure speaking with. Hi, I'm Crystal. Hey, Crystal, I'll let her look. Talk to him. Let him know what you're wearing. Thank you. I have on a skirt from Urban Outfitters. Uh, bye. I got the Ricardo tissues on. Okay. Uh, I got a Sylvie jacket. Right. Jacket. Okay. A little Skims bralette. Okay. And then a Zara bag. For sure. Can't forget <laughs> the accessories, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got an Alix necklace. Right. And then I got some bangles from Zara as well. For sure. <laughs> hey, what do you think of style? What comes to mind for you? Uh, for style? 
Um, my style installs would be like ASAP Rocky, Pharrell, Rihanna. Yes. I love people who could just like put anything together and it's gonna look good no matter what. For sure. Like, what you, what you think, man? I love it. Yeah. I love the sneakers mm -hmm. because those shoes represent a time yeah. in sneakers mm -hmm. where Ricardo Tishi dropped them shoes. That was a big moment. Yeah. Big. I'm not an Air Force guy. Mm -hmm. I respect that shoe. Quality of the shoe. The look of the shoe, the design of that shoe. I like the black one better. And not just the one she had on, just yeah. all of them. Yeah. The, low, the black pair, the white pair, that pair. I loved all of them. Mm -hmm. All respect to that shoe because that shoe is for a person with style. Yeah. Not necessarily a person that know how to dress. No, if you have any kind of style, you take that and you just create around that shoe. And yeah. I think she did that perfectly. Yeah, she agree. wore the lace dress. She knew the shoe. See, I get dressed in the shoes up. Some people get dressed from the outfit, then they just put the shoes as whatever. I go from my shoe. If I know, all right, what shoes I'm wearing? I'm wearing those. What am I going to put with that? I'm going to put this. I'm going to put that. I don't like that. She did that. I could tell because she said, these are the shoes. No matter what yeah, I wear, yeah, yeah. these yeah. are staying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's staying. Everything else don't really matter because everything matches these. So, okay, I'll just do this. All right, well, I'll keep this on. Throw a jacket over it. Oh, I'll take that back. Bracelets. Simple, done, easy. Natural she didn't have hair, to match. Natural hair. Yeah, she little didn't, belly out flex. She didn't have to match. She didn't have to go crazy yeah. with, the, with the jewelry. She didn't have to wear no loud. And it wasn't. It wasn't slutty either. Like no. she had a like see through sink through type of right. Type but of her vibe, body right? frame and yeah. her, her shape that made sense for her because yeah. she's not flaunting anything. Yeah. She's just comfortable. She's fly. Like if I seen her walking down the street, I'd have been like, hmm. good fit. Yeah, nah, I, I do that all the time. So yeah. I'd be like, good fit. Yeah. And that's a lot of saying for New York people. And I do that to white girls a lot now. Yeah. Like, some, I don't know where the cities they coming from. Yeah. But well, they, yeah, they've been pulling out for a little bit. I'll be in Midtown. I'll be seeing these chicks on the train. Oh, shit, okay. A little white girl. All the sambas. Oh, shit. They're from Boston. I don't think they're from Boston. <laughs> they might be from Connecticut or something. But some, yeah. But, yeah, that was, that was good. See, that I like. That's normal for me. She said Zara. She ain't yeah. go crazy with the, yeah, yeah, but this yeah. is an on font. Like, no, it ain't no... Yeah, you ain't gotta pronounce it right. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. me, bro. My shit, all my clothes be from H and M, Zara, Urban Outfitters is my spot. Yeah, I'm mad they shut down both the stores, man. Which one? The one in Atlantic and the one in Williamsburg. They gone. What? Urban's. They had Urban in Atlantic. Oh yeah, they did over yeah, there and by the bottom. By yeah, the over there by Whole Foods. Brooklyn, 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 yeah, Brooklyn Bridge Park over there. That one. I go to the one on Thirty Fourth Street though. Still open. Yeah, they closed the one on Union Square. That one's gone. And they, 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 I guess they closed the one in, uh, in uh, Soho as well. Did they? They might have. They I haven't been there in a minute. I'm going to check it out. I ain't yeah. been to Soho in a minute. I only went to the one on 34th because I work over here. Mm, they missed those, man. Early no. Yeah, I some shit. Fame, I appreciate you pulling up on us, man. Yeah. This has been a one. One of those ones, man. A lot of cloth talk in this situation. Very outspoken. Just let them know where they can find you at, cause uh, after this one, they might come after you in the, in the comments. And then... come, come for me, man. Uh, at the Fresh Father on Instagram and TikTok and uh, X. Even though I don't, I read on there. I don't really post. Yeah, it's back there a little bit. Now X is good if you need information fast. Yeah, like before things hit Instagram, they on Twitter. Before it hit CNN. Yeah, but like that night of the uh, debate, yeah. I was on Twitter. I didn't even check Instagram. Mm -hmm. They take too long. Complex got to be. Gotta edit. Yeah, Go to X, nigga. Just, just touch Trump, Paris debate. Everything's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People just like, oh yeah, it, it was gold. Um, but yeah, follow me at the Fresh Father on Instagram. Follow the Podium Podcast. I'm on hiatus right now. I've been on hiatus since July, but um, I'm coming back. I want to say end of this month, early October. I really do. Um. People been asking me for episodes. I've had people DM me the problems. Like, yo, I don't mean to bother you, but I'm going through this, and you ain't had an episode in a minute. I'm just like, all right. You like that? You like that? The, it's the cool. You the therapist? Yeah, but I don't like when I try to when I give people the information and they yeah. take offense to what I'm giving them. Like, if you tell me, like, yo, I've been dealing with my man for two years and I keep repeating myself and da 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 da, da I'm like, okay, if you spend two years and you keep repeating yourself, what you think will change in year three? Mm. What you think will change in year four? You, how long you gonna repeat yourself? You gotta go. What do you mean? So just leave like that? Listen, you ask me. You yeah. ask me. Oh yeah, it's the modern day Kev Kevin Samuels, man. He's the fresh father. I'm Remo, aka Mr. Rich Threshing. You can find me. I'm on all that shit. Rich underscore Rich underscore Threads. Uh, 
fuck with me, man. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, subscribe, share it. Good episode. Talk to who you need to talk to. And I'm back. Yo. And on that note, we out here, man. Peace. Peace.